We're live on a Saturday night in Uptown, 333 East Trade Street. Spectrum Center is our venue. Tonight, Devontae Graham trying to get uh, the home team going a little bit. It's the Oklahoma City Thunder in town taking on James Borrego's Charlotte Hornets. This is Dort left open. Dort was a guy who was on a two-way deal last year and then figured out a way to really make himself useful. Mm. There's the first NBA field goal for the Mellow Ball. Yeah, again, turns the corner, goes aggressively to the basket with the left hand on the right side. Hey, Lamelo! all of a sudden fighting it. He's got a quick six. How about that, get one to go down the free throw line. Turn the corner and then you're in rhythm to hit a three. Lamelo ball. Got mm. it! He's got a pair of triples here in the first quarter. Yeah, nowhere near the three point line when that ball is swung around to number two. He had one thing in mind, let it go. Mm. Lamelo ball. Double figures already. Seen him go aggressively to his right. That time left with a runner. Off of a Hornet. Picked up by LaMelo. Ball with two hands. First NBA dunk. Crafty only if it works that time. He didn't throw it off the right body part. The ball didn't. Didn't come back to him. Good hustle right there. Clean air. Mm. Hornets with numbers. This is a five on three. Lamelo thought about it. Now even strength. PJ got it. Very important. Much needed. His first three of the game. Good drive and kick by Ball. And even a better decision not to take his three. A lot of dribbling for Harris. That's about a week's worth for him. Lamelo Ball and last touch by Lamelo. Gordon Hayward. LaMelo. Great anticipation by LaMelo. And it's blocked away. Picked up by Hayward. P.J. with two hands. About that Gordon Hayward. He knew that LaMelo was off balance. Going to get that shot block. Able to read it. And then find P.J. all alone. Those are the kind of plays you're going to need all game long. Now Irving running the show with Dinwiddie out of the game, and what a layup. Are you kidding me? That's what he does. Off balance with the offhand. A magician scoring the ball in the paint. And that's a palming of the basketball called on the middle ball. Two starters in the game for the Hornets, Devontae Graham and P.J. Washington. Ball ripped away. Three on one. Yes. Oh, blocked beautifully by Bridges. It stays with Brooklyn. Shamit misses again. Offensive rebound. Cody Martin, extra possession for the Hornets. LaMelo ball! Rips the triple! Good spacing right there, slides right into the eyesight. Rozier from the free throw line. Points 11 and 12. Yeah, good patience right there. Saw Rozier had the mismatch. Threw it away. Let DeAndre Jordan relax, throw it right back to him, and then he bit on the fake. Irving upset, didn't get the call. He is, oh, oh my goodness! Barry Rozier! How do you do? Filthy! Sneaky! Sees Durant coming, he knows he's going to have resistance. Punch it through, young fella. Wow. Oh my! Rogier uses a screen from Biz. LaMelo. And it's touched last by Levert. Hornets ball, eight seconds to shoot. And the Nets have erased a seven point deficit. As Ball can't finish, Levert on the push. Ball will fire and hit from deep. Second three of the night for LaMelo Ball, the number three overall pick. Ball to Bridges, that combination has found instant chemistry in preseason and camp. There's a time and place for oh technical God. God. That's <laughs> You have to pay for it, man. Oh, shucks. I'm not going to do that. James Johnson can. He makes a lot more money. Three-pointer, Bridges again. He's feeling it. 
Ball fake and a drive and a scoop to the hoop by Caleb Martin. He went up off the wrong foot for a guy that's driving to the right. That's a tricky little finish right there. He was hot. For his fifth three and it's in and out. He must have visualized making a bunch of threes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this afternoon doing his pregame nap. A long one by LaMelo Ball. Who's a very exciting young player. Graham's three up top uh, is no good, but it's swiped away by Charlotte by LaMelo Ball. And they're clearly going to play for one. Baseline throw in, LaMelo Ball, 4.9 on the clock. It's into Graham, contested shot against Brunson, no good. Ball, offensive rebound, back up, and it falls in. And with that, LaMelo Ball making some important plays for Charlotte at the end of the first quarter. Oh, pocket pass by LaMelo oh. Ball. And Bismarck Biombo with the foul and announcing his presence with authority. That's a good shot blocker when you talk Kali Stein. He got the bench up. His, uh, his claim to fame is rebounding and defense. It's not scoring. Yeah. He averaged a career high last year. You guys know what that number was, his career high in scoring last season? Six. Uh, 7.4. You were really close, Art. You're, you're almost spot on it, man. Well, and I, I was guessing. I didn't really know. I'm not going to kid you. Drive, LaMelo Ball foul. James Borrego, the third-year coach for Charlotte, native of Albuquerque, New Mexico, easing Ball into the lineup with a bench roll to start the year, 17 minutes a game. He's averaging six points, about four boards, three assists. Wow. 11 for 11, the Charlotte bench shooting in this game as Ball connects on a three. He can shoot three again. Can really shoot the ball. I mean, he really lines it up really nice and I always look at the rotation on guys when they shoot the ball. This reminds me of Dale Ellis. LaMelo Ball, who had a game-high 15 points in the first half. He drives and finds Devontae Graham, and a tough three goes in. Oh, boy. And the pain points continue for Dallas here in the third quarter. Another timeout has been called. Down 31 with 2.55 to go on the third. Bridges with 20 to lead Charlotte. Ball has 17 after that make. Terry Rozier yeah, needed good. a while to get going. He's up to 16. It's Ball's first two of the second half. Yep. Boy. LaMelo Ball. 20 for him tonight to go along with Miles Bridges, 20 points. Back to play. Oh, man. And LaMelo Ball with another drive and score. That's saucy. He's had a huge... Uh, He's had a huge night. 13 was his previous best in the first three games with 22 and counting tonight with eight rebounds and five dimes. For your Hornets, you got Devontae Grant, Terry Rozier, Bismarck Biombo, Gordon Hayward, and P.J. Washington. So this guy. Uh, first time he touched it, a floater. LaMelo sneaks inside, misses with the left hand. Numbers for Memphis. Conchar. Nickname is Jitty. 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 Memphis gives back two as Bismarck Biombo crawls it over the rim. PJ. A beautiful five. LaMelo hit it. And PJ's now got a pair of three. The Hornets got a pair. He's got both of them. That was a nice delivery there by the rookie. The only way he could get that ball to PJ in time. LaMelo. 22 points on Wednesday in Dallas. Working against Jang. The spin! Mm. Scored out the window! Oh, work is good. Realized he has the quickness, the ability to get by his Jang. Ripped away by Devante. He's the first man to ball. Cody Martin. Corner three. Good basketball. Good basketball. Thank you, Ashley. Good stuff. Oh, my. LaMelo. Tried to hammer that back home. LaMelo. That's nice. Just jumped on top of Tyus Jones. Yeah, he's been on the Hornets out a couple of times. The offense not sharp, not really cohesive. LaMelo keeps the dribble alive, leaves it for Biz. Two hands. Keeping the D off balance. Long shot. Long shot. Genius is beside himself. Can't believe the rookie made that, let alone took it that deep. 10 0 scoring run for the visitors. 
LaMelo Ball continues to impress. Is the scoring run. Caleb Martin. Uh, got it. That's a long two. Second time today, Dell. He's had a toe on the line. Sean McDermott into the game. Long-range sniper for Memphis. This is Conchar. Locked away by Bridges. Numbers for the Hornets. Three on two. Caleb Martin, the finger roll. That's what's got to happen. First two fast break points of the night, but it started with a good defense. Long three. Rebounded P.J. Washington, and he's fouled going up for the rebound. LaMelo. LaMelo Ball, first playing time of the fourth quarter. A couple of Martins with him, P.J. Washington, Jalen McDaniel. Hornets do have a game tomorrow. It'll be in Philadelphia. Clark, 13 points, three rebounds. 12 points, eight rebounds off the bench for Jay. Tell you something, Dell. Terry Rozier and Devontae Graham are going to play angry tomorrow. Uh, they were a combined two for 21 shooting the basketball, and that's just not like either Terry or Devontae. So they'll have something to prove tomorrow evening, and they'll try and get it done in Philadelphia. There's your final score. It's the Grizzlies 108, the Hornets 93. Harris all the way to the cup and throwing down two. What a play by Tobias Harris. I think he caught Biombo and Bridges, two guys that are not easy to dunk on, both athletic. Meantime, in the other end, LaMelo Ball finishing with a left hand, but that Tobias Harris slam, we'll see it again. Yeah, he turned that over on him and flushed it. Harris with a hot potato, two to shoot. And B, keeping it alive. The once very good volleyball player doing just that. The Sixers will keep it here with 12 to shoot. Broken 0 for 8 for the Hornets, and there's Ball, who is fouled in the open floor by Matisse Thibault. Maxi had it slapped away by Ball, retained by Milton. And another whistle, a foul here on LaMelo Ball. Seth Curry in charge of LaMelo Ball. Now Embiid on patrol. LaMelo Ball with a crafty move against a good shot blocker. Joel Embiid, ball coming in fourth on his team in scoring, averaging just over 11. Simmons take it on Jalen McDaniels and have it his way for a second bucket. Able to turn that corner at full speed. Good luck with the defender trying to get back in on that play. Ball for three. By the way, along with Miles Bridges, the best three-point shooters on the Hornets team at 45.5%. Out of the timeout, they elect Rozier, and he promptly hits the three. Terry Rozier hauling the load now for the Hornets. He's got 16 points. Good down screen. Nice knockdown from Rozier. Good execution. Good outlet ball to Bridges, who throws down two. That was nicely done by LaMelo Ball. Biombo slamming for two, compliments a ball. Oh, and Ball took it away as Harris tried to outlet it to Embiid. Well done by LaMelo Ball. Just Tyrese Maxey doing his thing. So he shoot, he elevates off the right leg, and he shoots it with the right hand. That's not how it's supposed to be. It's a, it would be awkward for most, but he makes it look fluid, and he makes it look like he, that's how he wanted to shoot it. And doing it that way, does it help him to get the shot off quicker? Well, I think it just depends on when the defender comes. He's ready to shoot it whenever the defender comes and makes a play for the ball. So it doesn't matter what foot he takes off of. Simmons finally ripping that away for his eight, leaving him a couple of rebounds short of a triple-double. Milton stepping into a three. Monte Graham back into the game, three on the way from Bridges. Keith Thibel's come on, it's Caleb Martin off the Charlotte bench. Terry Rozier stepping up. You can count it for three. And now he'll go to the line looking for the four-point play. That'll keep the Hornets hanging around. Here's Rozier and giving Chase his green. It's for three. Did he call it? I ask you, please. Did he call it for a 7-3 of the game, no less? Harris teeing up a three. Ball at 6-7. Pretty good rebounder for a guy coming off the bench, averaging 11 and a half. Then in our post-game interview after the game on Saturday night, 
raving about Seth Curry and Danny Green not only providing more room and spacing for MP, but mm. Simmons himself. That was quite a throwdown, by the way, by Miles Bridges, the third-year player from Michigan State out of the timeout. Compliments of LaMelo Ball. Oh, nicely done by LaMelo Ball. Third pick of the draft last November. Now take it on Biombo again, and that time he had his way. He bent his third bucket. He's got six points and four boards already. Yeah, help defense not coming. Ball right back at Shake Milton. You can count it, and LaMelo Ball will go to the line looking for one more. That's why we said you got to keep their man, your man in front of you. Not a talented shooting team, but whether it's in transition to the half court, guys like Ball are going to put it on the floor and go at you. Slide those feet. That's a three from Devontae Graham. And quite frankly, he needed that. Just 29% shooting from beyond the arc. Howard crashing and scoring. Well done by Dwight Howard. Old school playing big personified right there. Just taking up space and not assuming anything's going in. Going after everything. Both ends. Milton stepping in about a 25 foot three pointer and LaMelo ball has it for Charlotte. That off the fingertips of Biombo. Tobias Harris, you know what, you throw out the opener. In the last five games averaging under 21 and shooting 56% from beyond the arc. People went up to Coach Rivers and asked him, are they worried about him early on? He said, no, he's going to come good soon enough and sure enough he did the faith in him paid off Sixers locking in defensively the Hornets without a bucket over about the last three and a half minutes and the Sixers trailed by five moments ago now leading by five the defense at the rim on LaMelo Ball who's claiming that he was Joel a late starter in this game with seven takes a tumble on the drive by LaMelo Ball the whistle silent Mellow ball, number two, first time in the second half, in for Devontae Graham. Miles Bridges as well for P.J. Washington. Green, nice late look for Harris. Well done by Danny Green, his third assist. And Tobias doing a good job of sealing off the smaller Rozier and then coming to the ball with his hands to make sure he catches it. The catch was everything on that play. Ball, it's for three. Lamelo Ball, good three-point shooting coming in at 42%. Curry, that was for two, and Ball, we mentioned, pretty good rebounder, arresting that one. Bridges in against Embiid, got it done. And the Sixers are looking for an offensive foul, saying that Bridges led with his forearm. Well, Bridges is athletic. He, in the phrase, you're going to feel him, Certainly applies likes the physicality anybody who played for Tom Izzo embraces that aspect of the game you have to Rozier with Embiid looming used the rim for protection that time I don't know if he needed to but it sure was pretty to watch Sixer lead at 14 Lamelo ball with eight points five boards five assists it's a lot there to work with doesn't look rushed that's the one thing that I always look at with mm -hmm. young players. Are they rushed? Yeah, it doesn't look hurried. No ear, uh, you know, deer in the headlights, no effect, none of that as they can respond again. Graham. Yeah, it's his 4-3 of the game, I guess. The extra shots he took after the game the other night helped <laughs> as unable to get under that was Miles Bridges. Ooh, man, I want to be out there subjected to the elements. Five and six assists off the bench for Milton is Hayward. Drops in two of his 16. The Sixers right now have this one under control, leading by 19. Thibel the swipe. Look at Howard in the middle of this break, and uh, Simmons can't handle it. Now Hayward at the other end. Maxi quickly had a piece of it, but Hayward recovers and scores. He's got 18. The Sixers 10 of 29 from beyond, 34 and a half percent below their average and the NBA average. Ball unfinished business. Now contending with Howard. Beats him to the punch. A whole lot of junk on that move by Ball. Unable to convert it, but a whole lot of stuff he pulled out there. 
Maxi off, beautifully delivered to Dwight Howard. That young fella's balling right now, isn't he? He hasn't made any mistakes right now. And at the speed in which he operates, that's what I'm marveling at, is a rookie going 110 miles an hour is bound to make a mistake, a miscue, something. In the meantime, that is Nick Richards scoring for Charlotte. 90 seconds to play in this one. Tough shot. Damn. There's Reed getting it done. Paul Reed, his first NBA bucket. Now he can exhale. And you know what? I love the support from the bench, you know, because when those guys who are on the bench now are playing, they certainly get the love from the reserves, the deep reserves. So now they're able to give it back, and it's, it's great to watch. No question, able to reciprocate it. And they see what guys like Reed go through every day in practice. Shot clock is unplugged. Here they come. They've done it again. Good win. Good win. Fun to watch. Yep. We welcome you to downtown Atlanta and an evening of Atlanta Hawks basketball tonight from State Farm Arena downtown. It's going to be the Atlanta Hawks in a Southeast Division matchup tonight. For the first time this season, our visitors from North Carolina come in, the Charlotte Hornets, to take on the Hawks. Washington. The low ball. How about that? Oh, that was a pretty move. Changing hands and then laying it in with the left. Yeah, putting a little English on it. Trey looking to get his offense cranked. He's got Collins in tight, and he missed it. And John goes down hard. And, boy, I thought he might have been tackled up there with ball for an instant. Now a no look to the corner, and Hayward's three. That's good. Timeout Atlanta. But, Bob, I tell you what, LaMelo ball carries the ball, carries the ball a lot. If you don't know if you notice that. Here's Graham for three. In and out and stays out. Biombo kept it alive. Ball from the corner. <laughs> the pass. Did he throw that like 100 miles an hour? Hurt right at his chin. Hayward and one. <laughs> he beamed him pretty good. <laughs> LaBello ball. And a whistle on the drive. This one goes to Clint Capella. LaMelo is six feet seven. Weighs 181 pounds, 19 years old. That's soaking wet. And launches a rainbow three and drains it. Well, he's going to be pretty good, Bob, with his height and his ability to see the floor. Mm -hmm. And his shot going to get better as he goes on. I, I mean, I think his shot is a much better looking shot than his brother, actually. Good one takes a peek. He's got to go. And the runner is good. Brandon Goodwin. Long leak to LaMelo Ball, and he lays it in. Oh, man, you could never allow that. Bogdanovich's shot comes after the horn. And Charlotte gets a cheapie to take a 27-11 lead at the end of the opening period. Ball going up. That's rejected, but a foul on Bogdanovich. LaMelo Ball, 71% at the line. He was the third overall pick in the draft. Played over in Australia to prep for the NBA. Tell you what, he, he has a nice impact off the bench already. Eight minutes, nine points, and four rebounds and two assists. Uh, playing a game one night, uh, and he was, uh, our guys wasn't playing well at all. So he actually grabbed Gary Payton before uh, he went into the locker room and told Gary, look, I'm going to get in your face. Coach goes into the locker room, and he kicks over a cooler, and he, he gets in Gary's face, and he's yelling and screaming at him, and he's turning red. And when he walked out of the locker room, he looked at us. He looked at the coach himself. He said, how was I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that story sounds familiar. <laughs> it does. Elbow jumper. Look at Paul go up over Hunter and get that one. Rozier steps into a three. Look out. He's starting to heat up. 
Here's Ball, trailed by Young, kicks it back. Washington's three is good. P.J. Washington and the Hawks are going to take another timeout as the Hornets run it up to an 18-point lead. They've got seven threes on the night. Bridges with two. Bridges side saddle. Rebound. Ball. Good. Ball in that 6-7 frame just does a good job of getting a rebound put back. Three seconds. Look at Ball going all the way and lays it in, much like he ended the second quarter. And at mid-floor turnover, Graham gets it off with the distance, and he nearly hit it. And the ball game is over. The Charlotte Hornets come to Atlanta and knock off the Atlanta Hawks. 102-94, first of three in the season series. And it's the Hornets denying John Collins and company the victory, and the Hawks lose all three on this homestand. Now go to Charlotte on Saturday, and the next home game will be Monday against the red-hot Philadelphia 76ers. Welcome to NBA Friday, presented by State Farm. From Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Zion Williamson and the Pelicans face the Charlotte Hornets. New Orleans at 4-4 four and four on the season, about to head out on a seven-game road trip after tonight. Charlotte comes in 3-5. and five. You saw Borrego there. He's now in his third season as Ingram swishes home a three. Charlotte trying to make the playoffs for the first time since 16, uh, 2016. They haven't won a series since 2002. Way off on that one is Graham. Lonzo Ball running the floor, gets two, and it's a 10-4 start for the Pelicans. As you see Ball come in the game. And Williamson turns it over. LaMelo Ball with the pick. And a nice beat in transition to Terry Rozier for two. And a beautiful pass by Ball to Biombo. And by the way, I, I have a rule change, Dave. If you're the older brother guarding the younger brother, there should be no flagrant fouls. You should be able to do whatever you want to him. Would you have been okay with that, considering Stan's two years older than you? Well, when you looked at his mobility and my mobility, he wouldn't have had to use any flagrant fouls because I couldn't get to the basket. LaMelo Ball can't get the two over Reddick, and here comes Brandon Ingram. Four rebounds already for Ingram. There's Lonzo Ball with a nice find, and another three for the Pelicans. They're fit. Made triple already. That was Josh Hart. You've done a lot of your brother's games over the years. I think you were saying most of the games, by the end of the first quarter, they're getting blown out that you're, you're not a good luck charm. But they got a 16-point lead right now after Adams gets the basket. Yeah, well, I, you know, there have been painful first quarter interviews in the games I've done where he's had to answer questions and they've played so poorly. So I, I, he's not even getting interviewed, right, tonight, like at the end of the first because they're the home team. Right, so he's got to wait till the third quarter. We'll see what the score is there. Wow, Miles Bridges absolutely abuses the rim. That is some dunk right there. Late rotation by Hart and Bridges over the top. Here's Ball penetrating. Keeps it. What a move that time. Fake the pass and scores. That's beautiful agility. As a Ball again shows off incredible skill level, this time with the handle and the score. Here's Lonzo Ball from outside, and he drains it. You know, Stan talked about watching Lonzo every day in practice, saying, this guy's a really good shooter. We may not see it from a percentage standpoint in games, but the guy that works all the time on his shot, and especially catch and shoot, Lonzo really can hit him in practice. Well, that's a beautiful left-hand finish by Mello, and then off the dribble three, you know, Ball came in with a crooked jump shot, and the way he's been able to, with the help of the New Orleans coaches, Fred Vincent, the way he's been able to change his shot and get the shot on the right side of his body has really led to steady improvement. Lonzo at 33% from three, LaMelo at 36% from three. LaMelo a better free throw shooter though, shoots in the mid-70s. Bridges trying to go baseline, maybe pushed off, fires to Biombo on the drive, wouldn't go. LaMelo ball on the offensive glass, 
And a foul. He'll go back to the line. LaMelo Ball with six points, six rebounds, and four assists in 11 minutes played. There is another Ball brother. Uh, Leangelo is uh, the middle brother. LaMelo is 19. Uh, Lonzo is 23. Leangelo is 21. He just signed to play in the G League. Growing up, they were known as Mello, Jello, and Zoe. Graham in transition with the step through. Ingram got the block, but turns it over, throwing it right underneath his own bucket, and Hayward puts it in. It's a seven-point game. Lamelo Ball back on the floor. Seven points, seven rebounds, and four assists. Brother Lonzo is out there, but they're not guarding one another. Lonzo was supposed to be guarding Rozier there, and Rozier knocks down his second three of the half. Lamelo, a rookie, third overall, 19 years old. Lonzo in his fourth season, 23 years old. Lamelo with a nice find. The three is good from Bridges, and it's a three-point game. Rolled off the rim for Hayward. Williamson with another rebound, his seventh. Here's Lonzo. Williamson, the trailer, lays it home. Welcome back to NBA Friday presented by State Farm. You and your brother have done so much together, Jeff, including broadcasting a game together. I had the honor of uh, sitting next to the Van Gundys. That was two years ago in L.A. I, I just remember we, we have our production meeting in the morning over breakfast. It started at 8 a.m. The conversation did not stop until 2.30 in the afternoon. You guys said you want to go to lunch. I said, no, you, you guys go right ahead. Continue your conversation. That's why we, we needed the Van Gundy podcast. What the world that Washington makes a three to cut it to four. The last thing this world needs is another podcast. Here's LaMelo Ball off the bounce. Steps into the lane. That was sweet. Nine points now to go with nine boards and seven assists. LaMelo over his brother. Lonzo hits a three. Graham trying to shake Alexander Walker. Timers at three. Here's Ball with a kick out. Rozier drains the three, and there's the eighth assist for Ball. Pelicans at four and four. Hornets at three and five. But but do you see right there when Lonzo Ball drove? He's looking to pass every time instead of trying to get to the rim. Now, the second time he drives, they came, they tied him up. But I, I think he has to be more aggressive. So here we go, the Ball brothers jumping it up like they... Used to go at it in the backyard. Lonzo, but three and a half years older than uh, LaMelo. Lonzo missed that time. They played together one year in high school. LaMelo was like 13 years old. Went to high school with uh, Lonzo for one year, and they went undefeated, won a national championship. That was LaMelo with a great pass. And the three by Hayward. So LaMelo Ball with his ninth assist. He is one short of a triple-double. And Charlotte's lead is up to four now, late in the fourth quarter. And this is an excellent road win for Charlotte as the Hornets go to four and five and the Pelicans fall to four and five. It's their third straight loss and now a seven game road trip for New Orleans. But how about LaMelo Ball playing just his ninth NBA game? One assist shy of becoming the youngest ever to post a triple double. 12 points, 11 boards, nine assists, and a victory. Here's LaMelo Ball coming in for Charlotte. A night last night for the entire family to remember. LaMelo getting 12 and 10 with nine dimes and beat his brother in their first NBA matchup. But what you do, you add another rebounder on the floor. Melo can, he can rebound the ball. Lonzo, uh, LaMelo rather, firing it inside and what a pass. Now, how tough a pass is that to throw that type of pass with his left hand on the move? That's, man, that's a difficult pass. And this young man is going to be in the retooled Southeast Division for years to come. He drives it and gets an easy open lay-in. Well, Hawks, you cannot allow that. That's too easy. LaMelo ball, look at the hit ahead, broken up this time by Cam Ruddish. Gets it back from Kevin. Let's it fly. Cam struggling with that three ball. Four for his last 20, counting that miss. 26 25. How about the pass to Washington? And he drains a three. Ball with another terrific pass. Ball movement has been outstanding here tonight. This one, however, results in a turnover. Ball comes down, finds Martin. Caleb drains another three. Caleb is off to a good start here. 
He's knocked down a few threes in. Ball puts this one in. How about that on Ball? I mean, going off of the wrong foot, shooting that fadeaway. And Charlotte takes a one-point lead. Quick pass and a dunk for Hayward. Ball a lot like Trey when his, as far as seeing the floor. Hornets on a 10-2 spurt to lead by three. LaMelo. Oh, my. Oh, it's boy. the three ball. The young fella is feeling confident right now. Washington moves in on Trey, runs into Collins, and still scores. Won't find a more difficult shot than that. He had nowhere to go. Hawks, 6 of 18 in the period. 38% for the night. Turn it over here. Leak out for Paul. Checks his options. No looks into the corner. And Rogier up fakes Collins. Drives and scores. Well, Paul again able to see the floor. And now they have a nine-point lead. Hayward doubled. Paul whips it inside to Washington. He scores. Paul continues to make plays, man. How do you keep him out of the starting lineup? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. Hayward trying to get that touch back. But who was that setting up that play? It was Ball again. Yes, sir. Lamelo finds and a lay-in here for Washington. Man, what recognition and patience on that play. And an easy turn of the corner for the left-hand lay-in by Lamelo Ball. Gordon Hayward gets in. Took a look at Capella and got rid of him. Rogier off the glass. Look at Paul goes in and get that offensive rebound. Rhythm bounce for Rogier. Nails a corner three. And that was set up a, off the offensive rebound there by Ball. He has 10 assists and 11 points. What a night for him. LaMelo gets to the rim again. That's that, again, that, that length is an advantage for him to be able to handle the ball as well as he does. Now he's able to get downhill and make that type of play with the left hand. He'll take the three and nail it. This kid got some confidence. He had some confidence, man. LaMelo got it. He's got 19 points off the pine. LaMelo bully ball. <laughs> Get out of the way, Trey Young. Oh, with a little uh, too small symbol as he goes back down. Oh, 21-point ball game. PJ. There it is. If that's ruled an assist, that's number 10 for LaMelo Ball, and he's got a triple-double. Come on. It's 2021. It's the NBA. It is an assist, and congratulations, LaMelo Ball. Now the youngest player in NBA history with a triple-double. Both teams are in the bonus. And LaMelo is mugged. And look at that. Three Hornets come to his aid. Free throws for the first time tonight for LaMelo. Young, blocked from behind by P.J. Yeah, P.J. He's, he's, really, he's really learned to time up the quick layup by Trey Young. Oh, oh, that may do it. Terry Rozier, three-pointer. Lead is 12. Three wins in four days. And the Hornets back to the 500 market by the five. The team is growing right before our eyes. A lot of young players that love to play the game, love to go to work. Coachable. They like playing with each other. Well, folks, don't go anywhere. We're going to talk to LaMelo Ball right now. We're going to get his thoughts just moments after his first NBA triple-double. What a special talent. Precocious talent. 19 years of age and doing work against adults. Grown men in the best basketball league in the world. Uh, his brother Lonzo said last night he's been playing up, which means he's been playing against older, bigger guys his entire life. And when you do that, you have to learn how to affect the game, how to play against grown men, guys bigger than you. So when you get here, you're not in the arm. You just continue to do what you've done all your life. You become real good at it. So LaMelo was uh, one assist away from a triple-double yesterday, and he said, I think I can do a little bit better. He gets that triple-double uh, 24 hours later, finishes with 22 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists. Uh, left no doubt about the triple-double. All right, LaMelo standing by right now. Hey, LaMelo. Congratulations. This is Eric and Dell up in the booth. Uh, fantastic work. I'm sure you know, but your first NBA triple-double. How does it feel? 
Uh, I mean, it feels great. We got the win, so yeah, I'm feeling great right now. How is it that you're able to come back after playing an emotional night last night in New Orleans against your brother to quickly turn around and then play the game that you have here tonight? Right. Like I said, it's just basketball, and I'm doing what I love. I mean, I've been doing this ever since I was three, so it comes quite easy to me, for real. LaMelo, I would think the rebounding would be the hardest part of a triple-double for you. You weigh 181 pounds, <laughs> uh, but it looks like you're a natural rebounder. Right. What's the key during that? I mean, I played a lot of 21 growing up, so it's just <laughs> a whole lot of basketball, for real. It's pretty much just instincts, I guess. How is it playing against Trey Young? You guys have really played well against him. He's yet to hit a three in two games, struggled, really. What's been the key there guarding him? Uh, pretty much just locking in on him, closing in. I mean, Coach had a great, uh, great scouting report, and we're just following it pretty much. <laughs> My boy, for hell, you already know. All right, LaMelo, paint the picture for me. You guys are going to have a day off tomorrow. You don't play again until Monday night right. against the Knicks. Uh, your agenda for tomorrow, how do you plan on enjoying your day off? Uh, pretty much just chilling with my boy JJ and the fam, and then probably going to the gym, get some shots up, and then on to the next day. And I'm going to give you the last word. Uh, two dunks that just uh, brought my hair to a standstill. You had Terry Rozier in the first half, Caleb Martin in the second half. Oh, yeah, Which dunk do you take as the best of the night? Ah, both my boys, but damn, that's <laughs> tough. Tiro had a cold move to a dunk, but yeah, Caleb's was, Caleb's was tough. I like the one leg. <laughs> I'm going to go with Caleb. Good answer. Man. Thank you for your time, LaMelo. Hey, keep on keeping on. You've been a joy to watch so far. Yes, sir. Thank you, fam. Let's take a look at our starters brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Uh, for Dallas, Christoph Porzing is one of two Mavs starting for the first time this year. Also, Trey Burke, Wes Uwandu in the starting lineup. Uh, obviously, Dallas dealing with COVID-19 protocol issues. More on that in a bit. Uh, for your Hornets, familiar starting five. They've started the same five players ever since the second game of the year. Graham and Rogier in the backcourt. Hayward, Washington at the forward spot. And Bismarck Biombo jumping center. From half court, LaMelo. And that will do it. Straight on look. Another rebound, LaMelo. LaMelo sneaks past Cauley Stein. Pass intercepted by Hardaway. And a foul called on Devante trying to stop the break. Burke had one of the best games of his pro career a couple of nights ago. Yes, he did. Hey! Look at Caleb Martin. Cleans it up. Yeah, you just have to find a way to manufacture points right now while your offense is stagnant, stale. Stay in the game. Cody Martin into the game. Picks up the loose ball, sets up LaMelo. Missed everything. Uh, but it's still Hornets ball. Hornets trying to make hay with Luka Doncic on the bench for Dallas. Played all 12 minutes in the first quarter. Back to back threes, the Hardaway. Special. Tim Hardaway Jr. He, he's got to get special attention because if he gets hot like he is right now, sees a big basket, he could be a problem. LaMelo 0 for 4 so far, shooting the basketball. Burke keeps the dribble alive, finds Hardaway. Three in a row? Nope, a little bit short. Heater. LaMelo. Good find, and Biz throws it through. Yeah, draw the D and a nice wrap around to Biz for an easy layup. Miles, three-pointer. That battery again of ball and bridges. Drive, draw, and kick. LaMelo lays it over the front of the iron. First field goal for the rookie. Look right at Marjanovic and said, big fella, I know you cannot jump quick enough to get this. Miscommunication. <laughs> that put a Dallas disappointed yeah. at the layup. <laughs> he does not play above the rim. <laughs> Even Luke is laughing about it. Much needed oxygen for the Hornets. P.J. Yeah. a three. P.J. back-to-back triples. Yeah, Marjanovic just cannot get out there in time to bother him. Almost got to string together some stops. LaMelo. Miles had his pocket picked by Doncic. Would have been a hammer. LaMelo dribbling in circles. Nice 
Backdoor pass. Two more for Caleb Martin. Oh. And, and LaMelo crawls it up and in with contact. So he'll go to the free throw line and try and finish off a three-point play. Still playing hard, trying to fight. It's about Burke. It's the reach in. Well, that'll do it on a Wednesday evening. Hornets' four-game winning streak is history. As they fall against the Dallas Mavericks, they end the season series against Dallas. One up and one down. We are in Toronto. The Toronto Raptors are in Tampa. And a home away from home stand begins this evening as they get set to take on the Charlotte Hornets. They'll play the Hornets not only tonight, but also on Saturday night. Here's OG. Cap his foot down. The recovery that time by Ball. Along with Bridges, Miles Bridges Block. checking in on the inside, banked in. Too easy. Got in deep. But that's what this young man could do. Said 2-3-3-2. Two, three, three, two. Soft zone pre two. Soft zone pressure. They'll do a lot of different things. And I really think when you look at the NBA, Nick Nurse has had a hand in that, changing up all the defensive looks. Absolutely. All the games the Raptors will play outside of Toronto. It's the road, but they'll get an opportunity here, right, Jack? Because you're going to have some practice time and some other things. And you're going to sleep on the same pillow every yeah. night. I mean, that helps a great deal. And, uh, you know, not only these five games in a row, but the next eight games are against good competition. Biombo taking advantage, a little bit more size over Ananobi, who's strong, but he backed him in and shot right over with the left hand. Shot doesn't go. Good job by Boucher. Powell has it swatted away. The length of ball is a major factor. Here he is on the inside, whips it over to the wing, and the three Great. is good. Pass. And it's 31 to 23. You'll see a lot of this this season where teams will play back to back against the same opponent, even with the day off in between in the same city. And that's what's happening in this situation. Three-pointer, P.J. Washington delivers. Charlotte had won four in a row until last night. They were five and seven through a dozen games last year, six and six this year in turnover, and it leads to an easy right. finger roll for easy Washington. Here now. Right, big trip here. And I like the fact that Siakam's being a lot more selective in his three-point shooting. A lot less dribble pull-ups, Matt, and a lot more catch-and-shoot threes. Whoa, ball! Ball from near mid-court with the three, 97-82. We think Sam Mitchell's thinking like, oh, what happened? <laughs> Sam's like, Sam and Lee are going, oh my goodness. Behind the back. <laughs> And all the way to the rim, a nice. Is it? This is like a summer league game where you call your own fouls. Uh, like, are the refs even there? They just let them go up and down. No Look at this. contact ball. Yeah, just... yeah. No pennies up here, Jack. I know that. And how about the slam dunk from Bridges? What a pass by Ball as well. He's got nine dimes. And here it is, right here. Turnover Beautiful move. Look at that pass by. By ball and made the point before. <laughs> Peripheral vision, right? Seeing out of both eyes, and he's really good throwing it to his left as well and uh, sees the whole thing. Ball. Got it. Something that we've noticed, Jack, over the course of the last three seasons, and it really started with Steph Curry. You talked about it so much during the run of the Toronto Raptors with respect to Fred Van Vliet. The range at which the three is now being taken, it's, it's not, the, it's look not at, the 23 or 24. Look at Damian Lillard, shot. particularly yeah. a guy like Lillard and Steph. Those guys are crazy, and they have lead. It's 27 feet, it's 26 feet. I mean, they're out there. There's Bridges in the corner, the three is good. Raptors tie a season hijack, 32 assists. That ties them with the night in San Antonio. Quickly now, OG and Big ball. Play. With the steal lead pass, Rozier, finger roll is good. And Kyle runs right into the base of the stanchion. What a pass. Bridges. 
Oh. He had a wide open look for the tie. Fred now, as we pass. head to the minute mark. And they go back to it twice now. They needed a bucket. Boucher on the duck in and Lowry connects. Batted away, Pascal, but right to ball to the rim. And he's got 14 points, 11 dimes, ball on the inbounds. Washington gives it now to Rozier, gets it back, launches a three, doesn't go. Rebound in the corner. Devontae Graham throws it up, and the Toronto Raptors Ooh. hold on for dear life here on a Thursday night in a win at 111 108. A Saturday night for basketball. The Raptors are in Tampa getting set to take on the Charlotte Hornets for the second time in three days. This is Tangerine Raptors Hoops. Can the Raptors come away with consecutive wins for the first time this season? Here's Rozier, and the shot doesn't go. Rozier tracks it down along the end line, cut off by the presence of Boucher. Ball to corner three. I know it doesn't look right, but it goes. And, and Ball delivers from downtown. 14-3 run. Hayward close out by Kyle. He puts it on the deck, steps in, and a 12-footer is good. That was a tough move because he kept his pivot foot. He anchored that foot and drove off of it. Good balance that time by Hayward. Here's Ball, the deep three. Talked about it the other night. It's no longer a 23-foot three or 25 it's out to 27. Here's P.J. Washington not with the pace of play and the threat of the three. Washington back-to-back double-doubles. He plays well against the Raptors at 20 and 11, Jack, on Thursday. Spin move by Ball. So getting a little bit more time. And how about that length, Jack, right getting in there? Hayward finds Bridges. Here's Ball. Thought about it. Takes it to the paint. Dumps it off P.J. Washington. Good luck by... LaMelo Ball. Here's Ball. It's right to the rim. Mm. And Stanley was sliding by. You had Bismack there. And so Ball able to get to the rim. Ball. And a foul on Kyle Lowry as Ball is tripped up. Ball. P.J. Washington, the slam dunk. Well, Raptors have switched a lot. That time, obviously, the big on little. They don't switch it, and he turns the corner. Stanley Johnson on Graham, stumbling in a shot clock violation. Great job. Raptors up two. And a foul on Rozier. Four-point lead. Graham to Washington. Back over to Graham. Fires. Three is good. Here's Boucher, and foul with 3.4 to go. And gets both 20-point performance for Boucher. Three-point game, 3.4 to go. Rozier and Graham have combined for 10 made threes. Rozier, and it doesn't go. They were looking for Rozier. And that's what I said, right? They ran the inbound play to score a catch-and-shoot inbound side out-of-bounds play. I tell you what. You dodge a bullet, good counter-punching with the Raptors. Did not play well late second, early third, but they counter-punched and got back in this game. A spectacular Sunday in the city beautiful at the Orlando Magic are back home after a grueling five-game road trip up north. Tonight, they return to the Amway Center for a Southeast Division matchup with the Charlotte Hornets. Tonight, it's the Magic and the Hornets. LaMelo coming off uh, a season-low 16 minutes in Friday's loss against Chicago. Interior pass to Beauty! And LaMelo finds Cody Zeller. So far, Orlando shooting 64%. 9 of 14 from the field. And one! How about that? LaMelo ball got all the way to the cup. Score it. And a chance for a three-point play. He's been able to find that area a couple of times in this first quarter. Right there, turns the corner. Looks and sees where the help is coming from. It is not. And that enables him to get all the way to the other side of the rim with the hit. Martin a three-point shot now his foot was on the line give him just two that's Caleb Martin Hayward in the teeth of the magic defense ball fires it into bridges another assist for LaMelo ball 
Ball, double clutch shot, no good. Rebound, Vucevic. Ball took it away. Ball lines it up from the corner. Got it for three. Jordan Bone wide open. Missed everything. Rebounded by Ball. Ball shovels it to Hayward. Hayward lays it in. That's a good decision. Hayward running right down the middle of the floor. Ball for three. He rattles one in. Magic in the lead. Third quarter. Zeller on the drive. Ball on the lot. Bridges. Vicious right-handed throwdown. Rebounded by Ball. Ball accelerates to the basket. Lays it in. Count the basket for Ball. It was going to be a goal 10, but it goes in. Ball out to Graham. And that three is good by Devontae Graham. Rogier looking for Washington. Tough shot by Rogier. Wow. Got it for three. three Fournier, tough shot for three. It's good. Fournier delivers a big blow for the Magic. Evan Fournier. Tapped in by Vucevic. The lead is down to four. Now Hayward's got Anthony on it. Shoots over the top. It's good. 36 for Gordon Hayward. Evan Fournier got a screen, lets it go for three. Good again. Fournier delivering back to back huge threes for the Magic. Rozier hoisting a three. In and out. Oh. Hayward the offensive rebound. Hayward one on one against Cole Anthony. Spins to his right. Short jumper is no good. Biombo the rebound. And he is fouled. No good again. Rebound Fournier. Try to play in the open court for the defense sets. Fournier looking for an opening. Ross lets it fly from the corner. He drills it! And we're tied at 104. Bridges will inbound it. It comes into Hayward. Fournier is the matchup. Hayward one-on-one. -on -one. Driving, gets past Evan, lays it in. Point seven left. Hayward gives Charlotte a two-point lead. Tell you what, he hit that. That's a strong move right there. Point seven on the clock. Anthony. Five second count. Charlotte basketball. It comes into Hayward, and that will do. Nope, we got a foul with one tenth of a second left. So Hayward will have a chance to add two more, get himself to 40, 40 point game. <laughs> one out of two for Hayward. That will do it. Charlotte wins it by the final of 107 to 104. They outscored the Magic 33 to 18 in the fourth quarter. On a magnificent Monday night in City Beautiful, the Magic close out their back-to-back -back with the Hornets. Orlando let one get away last night. They want revenge against their division foe here tonight. Two-pointer by Charlotte to cut the lead back to three. Bacon rejected by Ball. Vucevic. Got it for three. Anthony into the paint. Tough shot, won't go. Another offensive rebound for Birch. His reverse layup is no good. He needed to go straight up, tried to go around. And Ball on the attack draws the foul. Three point chance for the number three pick in the NBA draft. LaMelo Ball. Boy, Gordon had his shot blocked by Gordon Hayward. Allen passed the ball. Ball, he is fast from one end of the floor to the other, isn't he? He really is. Ball will inbound it. It comes into Hayward, catching and shooting. Got it for two. It's a great job of using that Biombo screen. Hayward curling right into that open area. Ball to the basket, lays it in. LaMelo Ball, seven for the number three pick in the NBA draft. LaMelo Dude, Ball. He's got such great size. I mean, the kid is 6'8", so when he puts it on the floor, he can really extend and get to the hoop. Ball driving, laying it in. And Charlotte's run continues. Ball. Hayward for two. Graham had the hot hand last night in the fourth quarter. He throws a bad pass, picked off by Bacon. Bacon ahead of the pack. Ball is there. Bacon puts it in. Here comes Charlotte in a hurry. Three-pointer by Rogier. It's good. That's a really smart shoot. play by Ball. Bacon had hit the floor, pushed it. They had five on four. Good numbers. Wide open.
Rozier in the corner. Bacon into the middle. Taken away by Ball. Magic can dribble out the clock and get the victory. They've been close so often in the last five games. Could have won all of them. There have been 32 two-game series played in the same building, and there have been six road sweeps. The Lakers have three of those. Chicago, Denver, and Orlando have the other three, so the Pacers trying to do something that has not happened all that much this year. Indiana with the basketball. They win the tip. Malcolm Brogdon had 25-7-6 and six on Wednesday. And nobody back, and that's Rozier. He's got eight. Back to a two-point Charlotte Lee. It was Devontae Graham last year that had 35 points against the Pacers off the bench. He started the year as a reserve and then moved into the starting lineup, and there's the length of ball to make the steal. And Hornets looking to take the lead. That's what he does. You say he just pressed the defense down. Yeah, see, he can press the defense down with being 6'6 and running the ball at you. So you've got to get the ball early. Doug McDermott has seven off the Indiana bench. And the basket good by Ball. Chris, he shot this left hand. Did you notice that? Yeah. When Charlotte wins, he's a double-figure scorer with nine rebounds and seven assists. When they lose, he's under double-figure. So it, it shows his production and his activity. When he has it, that's when they're a better team. Hornets only have nine, or had 19 first-quarter points, and here's Ball again. That was P.J. Washington got his hands on that one. They had 19 first-quarter points on Wednesday. They have 32 here. And Ball Great anticipation. During the commercial break, we did see Doug McDermott go back to the locker room, and now we have an update from the team. Right thumb contusion for Doug McDermott. Questionable to return. It is always better to see contusion instead of fracture, so we'll yes. continue to see uh, what happens with Doug. All right. Thanks a lot, JJ. Rozier has hit another three. Lamb in the lane. I am telling you, that is one difficult shot that he makes look awful easy. Ball throws it to the rim. Bridges, Bridges goes to get it. Washington, two more. Shows he can put it on the deck. He's averaging 12 and a half points. Last year as a rookie, he averaged just over 12. Sabonis had it taken away. Yeah. Here comes Ball. Zeller did it. Zeller tapped it away. And again, you get out of the open court, Lamelo can, can really play. He's good in the half court, and he's young. But in the open court, he's really good. Now Ball gets to the rim. Would you be better off letting him shoot that three? Challenge is three, yeah, absolutely. Challenge is three-point shooting. Because once he gets on the move, he's as good as anybody, you know, with that size getting where he needs to go. Bridges flips it over to Lamelo, who's able to save it somehow. He's fallen out of bounds and threw a beautiful pass to Devontae. Oh, oh my goodness! Didn't see that coming! Hung to the late knee! Yeah, tap the top of your head. He just made a highlight, and I think Sabonis was involved. Oh, LaMelo Ball with some serious yeast. <laughs> Left side of your screen takes off right around McConnell and flushes it down all over Sabonis. Boom. Woo. That's a first as an NBA player for LaMelo Ball. How did he not travel? Back-to-back -back uh, assist McConnell to yeah, Turner. I thought he traveled or, or discontinued his dribble. Half court lob, Miles Bridges. That drives a coach crazy. You score, and then the other end, Miles gets behind the defense again. It's twice. Brogdon hasn't given it up. Going to take it himself. And still plenty of time for the Hornets. Lamelo with his head up. Nobody stopped the ball, and he got accosted. Lamelo got fouled. Now that's a coach that's searching for how do you get some offense out of this group? Because what you don't have is McDermott, and Lamb doesn't quite come off that screen the same way. And now you got a veteran who hasn't played nearly as effectively as he can in Gordon Hayward, and that's the guy. If I'm watching this, if I'm playing Chris, that's who I'm keeping my eye on. 
Oh, what a pass to Zeller. I'm telling you, if you let the game speed up, he's, he can play. LaMelo Ball, is, first of all, he got a matchup that favored him, but the help should have been there. Zeller's able to go, but that ball is, he's going left, throwing it right. And at 19 years old, he's, he can make it difficult. Tied at 96. Ball. Got it. So he's made, play. Yeah, he's made the last two two plays and scores for the Hornets that, happen. That's why they like him, because he can make he can score, but he can make plays. He's not a shooter, but around the basket with his size, he's a problem. And Zeller got it. That, that one. That was just a, a wacky play. Brogdon with a left hand. It rolls off the lip. And now the Hornets a chance to take the lead. Pacers missed their last two. It's Zeller at the rim, and he's got back-to-back -back baskets. Chris, I have never seen Zeller go for the basket that strong. And now Brogdon again finds Lamb. 4-3. Jeremy got it, and the Pacers back in front. Hayward. Left it short, but a long rebound again. Rozier for three. Offensive rebounds. We talked about them. You said there hadn't been that many, but when they've happened, there have been three-point makes. Lamb oh, has no. it blocked. And now Graham. And just like that, the Hornets have a five-point lead. And Brogdon, too. I tell you what, Ed, more and more, you just see him trying to wheel games into the Pacers' favor. Remember what I said with the yeah. LaMelo ball did? He just threw it off the back of the elbow. And, and that's that's what happens. If it touched somebody, unfortunately for the Pacers, the clock starts. The buzz is back in uptown. The Hornets with a win last night, hoping to keep it rolling. We're live at Spectrum Center. Tonight, the Hornets will have their hands full. Gordon Hayward and the fellas, they're going to take on the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Chris Middleton, and the Milwaukee Bucks in town against your Hornets. Hello. Devontae leads the ball game. 19-year-old rookie LaMelo Ball checks in for the first time. 16 points yesterday against Indiana. Straight on look, Rozier. Got it! Bad pass stolen away. LaMelo ahead of the pack. What do you got? There's a finger roll for LaMelo. Yeah, nice pass by Miles. All right, one possession game. Hornets down three. Middleton, two-time All-Star, again! LaMelo ahead of the pack, this time leaves it for Hayward! The Hornets are gonna play small. Milwaukee has five reserves in the- Oh my goodness! Miles Bridges! LaMelo! Got it! String music! A triple! Hornets have the Bucks right where they want them. Look at this. Wow. When the Bucks trail after the first quarter, they're winless on the wow. air. And the beat continues. P.J. a triple. Mm. 13 minutes into the game to be down by double figures and ahead by double figures is amazing. Oh, yeah! Miles Bridges! What a dime by LaMelo! <laughs> Cody! Oh, yes, wonderful! Tough. And LaMelo looking for someone to pass to says I might as well score myself. LaMelo as always wants to run try to split a triple team. Gets his own miss and look at that. Look at the stick to it of this. <laughs> LaMelo ball from the corner he drifted inside the line. Paul Washington Monk Bridges and Martin playing together. Malik, oh, super athletic. Forbes yeah. missed everything. Wow. And taken away. Martin's got it. Somehow finds Miles. LaMelo. Hey, score it. Hornets lead by one. Dodged a bullet a moment ago. LaMelo gets inside with the left hand. Wow. Take that, Brooke Lopez. The extension. <laughs> LaMelo ball, and he draws a foul going into that gaggle of defense. And another box foul. Here's the one guy with some energy, 19 years old. Got us picked it off the floor. Got in trouble. 
Hayward picked it off. Pass was intended for Middleton. It was a tough pass. And it'll be a foul and two for LaMelo Ball. Middleton picks up the personal, his third. And this is just great body control. Nice job initiating minimal contact. You see Chris Middleton's great, but there was a bump. Turnovers, as we mentioned earlier, a big story. Here's LaMelo. Another one. And three, 27 points off turnovers scored by Charlotte tonight. A huge determinant so far. Another three. The 21st made by Charlotte. The Bucks have lost two in a row. 126. 114 the final. Monday night basketball in Miami and the start of an important work week for the Miami Heat. Next five games all against sub-500 teams, including the Charlotte team. They play tonight inside the American Airlines Arena with 1,500 Heat fans in the house. And for the home viewer, we hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us here on Fox Sports Up. First career start for 19-year-old rookie LaMelo Ball of Charlotte. He finds Hayward, who buries the three and ties the game. Yeah, he's really improved that area of his game. 43% out beyond the arc, Gordon Hayward. He's their main scorer, over 23 points a game. Miller able to score off the ball set up. Second score in the paint for Cody Zeller. Well, Zeller bouncing it in. John, the 28-year-old Zeller, off to quite the start. Three early field goals in as many attempts. Martin buries a three. That's Caleb Martin. Caleb Martin is 11th triple this season, his first tonight. Charlotte with their first lead of the game. Comes with just under 10 minutes left in the head. Ball missed the triple. Robinson's pass deflected off the underside of the backboard. Ball powering it up and in. LaMelo Ball. All four points for him in this quarter. He's a big, long player as a rookie. Number three draft pick, 6'6". Six, six. So he can finish in there with the bigs on that type of action there if he comes up with a loose ball. Ball from deep. Wow, shot that one from Broward. LaMelo Ball with his first triple tonight, number 27 of his rookie year. And the Heat lead is three. Ball, flung it up, drew the foul. Now, LaMelo Ball, third pick in the 2020 draft at the age of 19, his first 20 games off the bench. He has one triple-double this year. That was on the 9th of January. 22 points, 12 boards, 11 assists against Atlanta for the season. 12 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists per game. He's been one of the better rookies in the league this year. Ball, triples. LaMelo Ball, 8 points in this quarter on a couple of threes and a couple of free throws. Zeller got free. Cody Zeller, 15 points tonight. Ball run off the three-point line. Runs in the trouble and a chewer. Missing twice, Washington on the foul. He is so long at 6'6". Really creates a lot of pro pro uh, problems as he gets to the rim. That's what Charlotte does. They turn Miami over again, and Bridges double clutches and hammers it down. Iguodala, probing. Finding Hero. Takes the wing three. Buries it. Tyler Hero. His only score of the fourth quarter, his third triple tonight, puts the Heat up by 10. Zeller with a catch, Butler with a defense, rebound bounces back to Cody Zeller. Hayward, that's good. Gordon Hayward, his only score of the fourth quarter, Hero zigzagging, finds Iguodala. Gordon Hayward down with a rebound. Big Monk, fourth year man from Kentucky, playing like he's still in Lexington right now. What a night for Monk. Butler against Monk. Shot clock at five. Look at the bulldozer. Butler denied. Zeller with his 12th rebound. Now Cody Zeller with another double double for him. Graham for three. Devontae Graham delivers a big hit. He's got four of his five triples in the second half. It's a three-point lead. Bam! Look out! Iguodala with a perfect pass for Bam Adebayo's flush. Heat up five. 
foul on Iguodala. Devontae Graham with an eight-point fourth quarter. A 19-point game. Seven on the shot clock. Butler against Hayward. Iguodala from downtown. And the rebound comes down to Devontae Graham. They could tie it with a three with 31 seconds to play. Charlotte needs three to tie. It's Monk. It's good. Malik Monk. Unbelievable performance tonight. A career high for Monk. Nine triples. 34 points. Tie game at 113. Eight seconds left. Two seconds left. Jimmy for his first three of the season. And the Heat will go to overtime. Lamelo Ball against Duncan Robinson. 4.05 left in the OT. Oh, what a pass. Now you see what makes Lamelo Ball so special. At 19 years old, that kind of feel for the game. Yes. you got to stay on your man there, though. you got to be disciplined. For, make uh, Melo have to make a shot. Don't rotate out to him. Cody Zeller, 19 points tonight as Jimmy Butler draws the foul on Devontae Graham. Robinson out, Tyler Hero in. Jimmy makes both at the strike, giving him 23 points. Tying the game at 115. Now Hero switches to Hayward, drives in and finishes. Gordon Hayward, 16 points now. Hero, top of the circle, short. Rebound to Hayward. 303 left in OT. Hornets with the lead and the ball. Hayward behind his back. Two in a row for Gordon Hayward, both in the paint. Hero against Hayward. Excellent defense by Zeller. Dante Graham against Tyler Hero. Step back three ball. Yikes. Devontae Graham, 22 points. Butler missing from three. And you remember that Butler three at the end of regulation with the game tied on the Heat's final possession. Butler missing that three. And the Heat wind up losing the game in overtime. 129 to 121. We start with the visitors uh, from the city of brotherly love. 76ers with this five starting. They haven't lost this year. They are 11 and all when Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Danny Green, Tobias Harris, and the big fella, Joel Embiid, begin a game together. That's heady stuff. Four-year Charlotte Hornets, James Borrego and the Furious Five. We got LaMelo Ball starting for the second time in his NBA career. Just got announced as the Eastern Conference Rookie of the Month, as Ashley and Gerald told us. We've also got Devontae Graham, LaMelo, or Gordon Hayward, Miles Bridges, first start of the year, and Cody Zeller. Tobias Harris, one and done. Bounce pass, Gordon Hayward. Oh, what a look. LaMelo ball. That's how you're going to have to score when you get the Sixers to miss shots, get out and run, and run quickly. LaMelo's going to find you if you're open. He's got a third eye. LaMelo. Got it. Three ball. Deep one right off the catch. Pull the trigger on a swing. Score the goal. LaMelo ball. Try put his head down and just fought his way past Shake Milton. Oh. Hornets get it back. Here comes LaMelo ball with his hair on fire. Oh. Miles. Wow. Oh. Windmill. He, and he had to windmill it to get it to go down. The defender was there. I don't think he could have dunked it just right out. All right, let's do it again. Here comes LaMelo. He's got Miles with him. Hayward. Oh, Hornets come alive. Five quickies, and Philadelphia has to call timeout. LaMelo. Oh, yes, taking it right to Joel Embiid. He's not afraid. <laughs> yeah, a lot of... Local people interested about number 31, Seth Curry. He's having a great year so far, Dell, but an off night tonight. Yeah, he, he started the year on fire and then came down with COVID and missed uh, some time, kind of lost his rhythm. He, he says some days he feels great. Some, some days he's just sluggish, doesn't have his energy. But with the starting group that he's playing with right now, not a lot of shots out there with this okay. guys. Okay. And, you know, how about this? You don't need a scoring tonight. Doesn't look like it. Currently third in the NBA in three-point percentage, 50% on the nose. LaMelo ball hits a three. That's the second three for LaMelo. Oh, there you got one. First field goal of the fourth quarter. It's LaMelo ball at the rim. Blows to the rim. LaMelo crawls it through. Hey! 
patient move and patience of virtue. It's rewarded. A chance for a three point play. Fight his way to the basket. Just finding an opening. Wow. Yep. Tough hit. Yep. Survives the contact. And an old fashioned three point play. Hornets within eight. Oh no. The Melo took it from Embiid. You okay with that, Dell? Dell. Oh, 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 and a three. So it's a five point game. And now the Hornets will play the yeah. foul game. Yeah. And Harris is fouled. Absolutely okay with that. Oh, oh, oh. Embiid thought the game was over. He was thinking about grabbing a tamale in the locker room. Nope. And LaMelo not only a steal, yeah, but a yeah. three. Yeah. Capitalize your awareness of that. And the ball game is over. Hornets modest three game winning streak is history. Hornets left to try and start a new streak on Friday when the Utah Jazz come to town. We've made it to the weekend Friday night in Uptown. Tonight at Spectrum Center, we're going to let the music play. The Utah Jazz, Gordon Hayward's former team, they're in town. They currently have the best record in the NBA. They're going great guns right now, but the Hornets, they've got Terry Rozier coming back. Here comes LaMelo. Dumps down. Cody, there's your first bucket of the ball game. Nice drive right there. Patience didn't force that three early. Bogdanovich blocked away by LaMelo. Here comes Malik, his first touch. LaMelo. All right, wow. three ball. LaMelo in a hurry. Caleb got bumped off his path and still yeah, scores. Yeah, yeah. He, he did play right through the contact. Bogdanovich off the heel. Here come the Hornets. LaMelo. Gorgeous Ooh. drive. Oh, the rookie. Coast to coast. At times he makes it look easy, much like Donovan, but he can flat out score the basketball. LaMelo makes this layup. Shot clock's down to one. Wonderful recognition by yeah, LaMelo. He knew exactly what he needed to do. That ball did not hit the rim. LaMelo gets two back. Ah, LaMelo. Wow. Keep mm. on keeping on, young fella. Steps right through, gets some daylight. Pushes that one through the net. Batted away by Hayward. Hornets still battling. Corner three. All right. LaMelo swirls it through. And another, another rip away. One. Three on one. Biz with the left hand. Base stealer. Stretch a single to a double. Oh, beautiful dime, and Biz catches <laughs> in. Biz, Mark Biombo! Thunder! I'd love to get this to single digits before Gobert gets back in. There it is. Nobody stops the ball. Oh, oh LaMelo! The youngster answers. Here's ball again, feeling it, rolls it in. Wow, 22 threes made in the ball game for Utah. LaMelo. LaMelo ball, a new career high. LaMelo. Wraparound pass, a beauty! And Biz catches it in! Yeah. Rogier. Oh, yes! All right. Final four minutes. Oh, I love the challenge. <laughs> yeah. I love the challenge. And because they know he's a willing passer, he freezes everybody when he has that ball with one hand. LaMelo gets it back from Hayward. And with the left hand, the 19-year-old has figured out the pro game. And that'll do it. Friday evening basketball draws to a close. The Utah Jazz keep on keeping on. They have now won 13 more games than they have lost. They've got the best record in the NBA at 18 and 5. And they just put on a clinic about what they can do offensively. Yeah, they play the same way, whether at home or on the road. 
They've got a guy to protect the rim. They have shooters all around and guys that know how to play the game the right way. We are live in Uptown, a day game at Spectrum Center. Let's get her done. The sooner, the better. It's going to be a lot of fun. Sunday matinee, LaMelo Ball in the house. Washington Wizards are in the house. How about Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal, two high-scoring guards. They'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with P.J. Washington back in the mix after missing the last two ball games with a foot strain. Look at how quickly Washington wants to play. They're the quickest team up and down the floor and get shots yeah. up on the rim. They want to play on the offensive side of the floor. Defensively, they're going to give you whatever you want. They allow their opponents to score 121 a game, shoot a good ball from two and three. And if you get open oh! shots, you got to do that. <laughs> Raise the roof. First three of the year for Cody Zeller. Had missed his first ten. Here's Alex Len. No. Good job defensively by P.J. And Cody, how did he not get fouled? He did. Oh, my goodness. How did he Still not get a whistle? A shot, and we're tied at seven. Beal. Beal had five quick ones to begin the ball game. Coming off a game where he only made one shot against Miami. Hey, LaMelo Ball from deep downtown. And the Hornets have a seven-point lead. Nice. Miles Bridges a pair. Kept the ball up high. LaMelo hangs and hits. <laughs> He wanted Cody on the roll, but the defense took away that option. Just hung around until he got a shot over the rim. LaMelo, yes. second three-pointer of the game. LaMelo ball back on the floor. He's been yes. nifty. Right, oh, good. easy deuce. El Matador. The revolving door defensively for Washington. Yeah. Hornets lead by 11. Long three. Oh, oh LaMelo. Man. Third three-pointer of the first half. Bradley Beal's got 17 points. Nice bounce back game for him after scoring just seven on Friday against Miami. Hayward, score it and a foul. Gordon Hayward survives the contact, chance for a three point play. The Wizards aren't just, they're just not disciplined. It's Cody, oh, nice feed by LaMelo. And LaMelo only knows how to play one way as well. Full throttle. Only two starters remaining in the game for the Hornets. LaMelo Ball and Cody Zeller. And LaMelo with the left hand. Hung in the air and shot it on the way down. There's Victor Oladipo. Hornets first look at uh, the former All-Star wearing red. Daniel House, Jay Sean Tate, P.J. Tucker, and DeMarcus Cousins. That's their five. No John Wall this evening. No Eric Gordon. Uh, no Christian Wood. All three out for various reasons. Let's take a look at your roster. The five-man lineup for the Charlotte Hornets. LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward, P.J. Washington, Cody Zeller. That is the second consecutive game now that we have seen those five start a ball game. LaMelo. First points of the ball game for LaMelo Ball. Yeah, good movement of the basketball side to side right there. And LaMelo didn't have a lot of time to get that off, but he was spaced out far enough that the defense could not get a hand up in time. One and done. Oladipo the misfire. Ooh, look at that squeeze. LaMelo somehow got it to Cody. You know what? He saw Cody open earlier, but he was not. Cody was not ready to re receive that ball. An extra bounce. And then he said, okay, now he's ready. Fired it right to him. P.J. Got it! Are you going to give LaMelo an assist on Absolutely, that? Absolutely, man. That ball was deflected he, to P.J. He threw it so hard that House Jr. couldn't catch it. LaMelo's got Cousins on him. LaMelo swoops by, and he's fouled. Hits the deck hard. Still time for Houston to get a couple back. Tate. Jay Sean wow. Tate off the window. And knew he had to get it high over Miles Bridges. Full length pass, and it'll count if it goes. Hey, how about that for a bucket to end the quarter? Caleb Martin, how do you do? And maybe even an assist yeah. for LaMelo Ball. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. I was going to say LaMelo gets an assist for that. 
He saw the traffic around him, tipped it right to Caleb, and then he said, shoot it. Tate, pass intercepted by Malik. Here comes LaMelo again, looking ahead of the pack. Miles yeah. Brendan! That's how you throw that one. You know you have a high flyer in Miles. You throw it up where the defense cannot jump, out jump Miles to get it. And you throw it where he, only he can. Two point ball game. I'm Was. sorry. Five point ball game. <laughs> Second three pointer for LaMelo. Just dribbled right into that rhythm three as the defense did not guard the ball. LaMelo ball! Third three pointer <laughs> of the first half for the rookie. He's worked on his jumper as well. That'll be the easiest oh. bucket of the night for Gordon Hayward. <laughs> yeah, it's a couple of times. They going underneath screens? The defender's going under on Gordon Hayward. Did you not read your scouting report? Hornets lead by a singleton. Transition three. LaMelo ball! Oh, he's feeling it here in the first half. How about the find by Rozier? He knows the ball is feeling good. Just bounced and left it right there for him to scoop it up and knock down a triple. Miles. Mm. Bows his neck. Score and, and a foul. Here's a three ball. Oh, LaMelo, another one. His fifth three-pointer of the ball game. Yeah, it's a tough shot to start the half. Leaving the paint and finding room behind the three and bottom it. Rogier steps into a three. You just knew it. <laughs> Return the favor. LaMelo sets Rogier up. That would have tied the ball game up. Hornets with numbers if they hurry. LaMelo, straight on look. Got it! Oh, the kid's got game! <laughs> and numbers, he called his own number. Number two from three. Jones, Tate, McLemore, Brown, and Nwaba playing together for Houston. Loose on the floor. First man down is Tate. Still loose. Picked up by Miles. LaMelo, Miles with a left hand! Nice hands right there. By Caleb. Look at Caleb. Dive on the floor, save that ball, and then... Oh, touch the floor. It's good hands by Miles Bridges. Yeah, it was. Miles Bridges! Oh, a glorious alley -oop! The Houston guys. Oh, there comes the lob. Too late. Miles Bridges throw it down and hang on it. House. Oh, Biz! Another block shot. P.J. Washington over to LaMelo. Got it! That's now seven triples for LaMelo. Catch and shoot chance for Terry. Again! Yes. Oh, it's predictable. That's smart basketball in the backcourt. P.J. Tucker. LaMelo, Biz Macbiambo at the rim. And this one looks very promising for the homestanding Hornets. It they does. lead by 21. Gordon Hayward, P.J. Washington, Cody Zeller, who didn't play in the first game because of a broken hand. He's back in the lineup with Terry Rozier and LaMelo Ball for James Borrego, Grizzlies 9 and 10. And Desmond Bain will make his second career start tonight with Kyle Anderson, Jonas Valanciunas, Dylan Brooks, and John Moran for Taylor Jenkins, who turned 36 last September. Good defense there by Moran. Moran with a knockaway. Grizzlies lead the league in deflections. Dylan lost it against P.J. Washington and then threw it right to LaMelo Ball. Grizzlies got the turnover, got the stop, and LaMelo Ball takes it back the other way. LaMelo Ball, the leading rookie scorer at 14 a game, coming off his best game of the year, 24 points, 10 assists, 7 boards, 7 of 12 from downtown in the victory over Houston. Washington drives on Brooks, feeds Ball. He reverses it up and in. LaMelo Ball... You'll be able to find him easily with those Dayglow orange kicks. And Grayson Allen sets up in the corner and misses the three. Rebound to Washington. I thought Grayson had a lay-in there on the pass from Valanciunas. Turned it down and resulted in a missed three as Ball is able to muscle his way to the painted area. Lob for Valanciunas. Jonas against the shot clock. Ball on the floor. Just got it up to the rim in time and trying to wrestle away. Wow, no held ball call there. Taken away by Gordon Hayward. Ball, straight line drive and a finish by LaMelo Ball. And the Grizzlies gonna call for time. Jang with the screen, Morant with the bucket, his second of the game. Ja with four and three assists. And a long lead ahead from Miles Bridges. Grizzlies did not get back defensively. 24 paint points for Charlotte. 
Bridges went down, comes topside. Hayward for three. It's through. Gordon Hayward, just his second shot of the game and his first from downtown. Five for Hayward. Conchar with a look ahead. Tyus Jones reversing it up too strong and a rebound. Hayward, but there's Dylan to battle for it and tap it out to Tyus for three. Bingo! Hustle play by Dylan Brooks. That's two hustle plays because he hustled back defensively to, to make that catch on the long pass. A tough catch as Bridges comes back comes back and matches with a three, but then the hustle tip out to Tyus Jones. Nice energy for Dylan coming back into this game. Dylan Brooks picked up the two early fouls, but he's been effective. Conchar missing a three. Rebound Bridges. His third of the game. A look ahead to Hayward. Conchar was back, but Hayward able to score it. You know what they call that on the playground, partner? Cherry picking. Cherry picking. LaMelo Ball. There's an element of strength to his game in addition to quickness and guile. Second time he's been able to muscle his way to the basket for a shot. And Valanchunas with a misconnection with Kyle Anderson. Ball lobs, Washington slams, Grizzlies call time. Grizzlies with the throwaway. LaMelo Ball, his fifth assist. Grizzlies have surrendered 12 points off their seven turnovers and trail it by six. Ball floats it up and in. Pass stolen by Ball, intended for Tillman. Lob off the mark, out of bounds to Memphis. LaMelo Ball, floater from the foul line. Seen that a couple of times tonight. Ball, the third overall pick. Shot that floater partner from the free throw line. Ball comes back and knocks down a three of his own. Nice give back, Conchar. Grayson for three. I think the Grizzlies have done a good job. We say that these are the two top teams tied with averaging 28 assists a game. The Grizzlies got 25 assists on their 35 baskets. We thank you for watching the Grizzlies in a resounding 130 to 114 victory over the Charlotte Hornets. Grizzlies take the season series for a second consecutive year. They have now won four in a row over the Hornets. Uh, lots of moving pieces with the Timberwolves this year. 13 different starting lineups. Uh, there's the number one overall pick in November's draft. Anthony Edwards, Ricky Rubio, Malik Beasley in the backcourt, Josh Okoge, and Carl Anthony Towns. Just the sixth game he will play this year. For James Borrego's 10-legged groove machine, they're on the dance floor right now. LaMelo Ball leading the charge. They'll be in the backcourt with Devontae Grant, Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward, and Cody Zeller rounding out the five. As Ashley told us, no P.J. Washington. Ricky Rubio, creative bounce pass stolen away by LaMelo. Hornets down three, just getting started. Hayward leads it to LaMelo, who got pushed from behind. He was. He gave that ball to Hayward, and he went to the offensive glass just in case Gordon was going to take the shot and got rewarded. Head of the pack, Hayward. Gets his own miss. Got another miss. Oh, my goodness. The unfortunate drill. Oh, LaMelo Ball just wanted it more. Just took it away. LaMelo, first little floater of the ball game for the 19-year-old. Good at that shot. Kind of pushing it right off his forehead. One-handed rebound by Ball, who continues to be a, a rebound in Gunderkin. Devontae. Wow, Miles Bridges, biggest athlete on the floor. Pinned that against the glass before he got it. And the ball goes through for Lamello, his first three of the game. Yeah, credit Miles Bridges with keeping that possession alive. Pin the ball on the backboard, got it, and then recycled it. Monte to LaMelo. Edwards, pretty move. Oh, that's what all the fuss is about. Yeah, splits the screen and roll. And then up and under with a hang time. LaMelo answers with a three of his own. And three is better than two. How about that? LaMelo. Bears of the game for LaMelo and an emphatic one. Put an exclamation point next to it. LaMelo, a power dribble. Scores at the rim! This kid's 180 pounds. 
Oh, Miles hey. Bridges, welcome back to the dance floor. A three ball for the lefty. Here's the rookie, number one overall pick, Anthony Edwards. Free throw line extended. Kids got game. Who does? Lamelo oh, answers with an and one. So does that kid. Oh, it's almost as if he's being challenged. Now two three-point plays, and that free throw stroke so much improved from just the first couple of weeks of the season. Good catch by Hayward. Batted around Lamelo. And the Hornets take a five-point lead, courtesy of the rookie. Loose, head of the pack, Cody Zeller, what do you got? Hornets to the century mark, they lead by five once again. Edwards, great challenge at the rim. Rookie's not going to get that call. No. And Hayward bounces it, Rozier, open look. It's Towns and Rogier going to work. And Terry does it again! That's all she wrote. Hornets back to their wing ways. Playing three men down without a shoot around. Just strolling into the arena an hour and a half before the ball game began. The Hornets hold off the pesky Timberwolves and win by a final of 120 to 114. The Hornets working for the weekend. Sunday evening basketball in Uptown tonight inside Spectrum Center. We get our first look at the San Antonio Spurs. The Spurs 15 up, 11 down. There'll be a challenge for LaMelo Ball, Miles Bridges, and your Hornets. Terry Rozier. Oh, he's been doing that exquisitely. LaMelo hard charging off the window and in. Devontae. And, and one thing LaMelo does well is anticipate. Like that. He anticipated he's going to get that ball <laughs> and was ready to fire as soon as he did. We'll be talking all things Buzz City basketball with you. Join us on Instagram Live at Fox Sports South and at Hornets. I got some work to do. I you guess forgot, I you signed up for that? Who knew? You were on the email. All right. Malik Monk. Ah, Hornets needed that. Yeah. And LaMelo, great anticipation. Two on one. LaMelo, what a fast break run by the Hornet. LaMelo gets it right back. A triple in White's eye. Yeah. LaMelo, a deep runner for LaMelo yeah. from about 16 feet. It's that's, that's like a, a, a running jump shot. LaMelo, oh, it's a man size yeah. drive. <laughs> LaMelo, an offensive rebound. Spits it out to Monk. Oh, how soft is that? That was beautiful. Spurs commit the fewest fouls of any team in the NBA. Malik Monk, how do you do? He's got Pirtle on him. LaMelo, butt of the well. All right. Mm. Murray again doesn't settle for a three. But his two goes begging, rebounded by Pirtle. Clean strip. Nine of 30 are the Spurs from three. White's got three of them. Fantastic basketball. Cody Zeller off the find from LaMelo. Miles Bridges, his first boom of the ball game. Horn's going to extend their defense, see if they can get a turnover. And they oh, do. There it is. LaMelo, wonderful anticipation. Rogier. We got a ball game. All right. Hornets within six. San Antonio, they outscore the Hornets 33 to 21 in the fourth quarter. And you got to just wonder if Gordon Hayward was in the mix, yeah. if the Martin Twins were in the mix, uh, if P.J. Washington was available, if Devontae Graham had played more than 50 seconds of the second half. Would the Hornets have had a better opportunity? You're, you're playing the Spurs, who are now nine and three on the road. You need everybody on deck and available to beat a team like that, as good as the Spurs are on the road. All right, the Hornets still with three more games remaining here on this homestand, and they're going to have a much needed 48 hours to just get healthy and try and get some guys back in uniform. 
Well, it's a Monday night in Salt Lake City, and after splitting a two-game road series with the Clippers, yes, the Jazz are back home. And tonight, they'll battle former Jazz man Gordon Hayward and the Hornets right now on AT&T Sportsnet. You know what we're seeing so far? The Jazz, unlike what they were able to do against the Clippers, only 13 assists they in that game. They already have six tonight as Donovan drills a three ball deep. The ball movement in L.A. was denied. It was. But tonight, you can see there's a real free-flowing feel to this one. Well, the mellow ball knocks down a three. Donovan on the drive inside. Finger rolls it. Cut the rim and in. Mitchell with five. His first bucket in the first quarter. Donovan has really mastered that shot as ball gets an easy one. But Donovan's really mastered that aggressive one-hand extension off the glass. I'm not sure Charlotte is as good as the Jazz keeping them up, keeping it up at this pace, but all they want to do is stay close. The fouls on Clarkson. Ball in the open floor right here, getting the two plus, plus one, getting to the line. Kids ambidextrous. Clarkson will fire home again. 0 for 2 from downtown. George Niang also on the floor for Utah. Ball again. That quick step drives and scores past Niang. Yeah, you're right. That first step that ball has, it gets you. And if you don't have any help, it's a short two. Cutter, fade. Up top. How about the recovery to block that shot? Yeah, Bridges. House Bridges did a nice job of just timing Derek Favors' shot. Now he gets a three-point opportunity. Wide open look as well. His first points of the night. Saw Hayward cut through. Now Ball goes baseline against Conley. And that's a size differential uh -oh. right there. Six uh -oh. one against six six. You see what he did after that shot? He, he lowered his hand to the ground, basically to say too short. Lamelo's been a story here in the first half, and that story continues. A teardrop on top of Gobert. Leads all players with 16 points. Welcome back, my friend. Mm. Bogdanovich. Ooh, dodge one there. Terry Rozier, easy bucket in transition. Yeah, looks like the Jazz just kind of jogged back, and Lamelo with a quick pass up. Rozier saw an opening. And Mitchell behind the back, right to Gordon Hayward. Lamelo. Mm. All right. I like it. The rookie hits another three. Yeah, you get a turnover. The defense not set. You feel good. Let it go, and he's feeling good with his 19. Hornets led by as many as eight in the first half. Just trying to wow. throw it up to the rim in the direction of Gobert. Yeah. He didn't think Cody had any kind of defensive position. That's why he just threw that one up. This would be nice. Nice it is. Yay, Washington! This equals the largest lead of the ball game. Snyder's going to try to let his team play through this. That's a nice move by Lamelo. Now the Hornets will have to shake it out. They've got a day off tomorrow. They take on the Phoenix Suns on Wednesday. The Suns and their 11-time All-Star sent Dame Dalla and the Blazers packing with another dominating performance on both ends of the floor. Next up, they host a Charlotte Hornets team that's preparing for a likely highly motivated and probably still a little bit agitated Devin Booker as we prepare for the Suns and the Hornets here on Fox Sports Arizona. Even though the Hornets are not a big team, they play hard and they're very physical with their young guys and it's guard play. Uh, they have a very good collection of guards with Rozier, Graham, and, and Ball. And so you really have to be careful uh, playing against this team. They can embarrass you quickly. And you see why there is so much praise being heaped on the talented rookie LaMelo Ball. And Monty talked about it before the game, EJ. He said, just impressed with his overall feel for the game. Ball playing the passing lane, comes over the steal. Eyes up the floor, finds Rogier, and that's one of the concerns for Monty is the transition defense for his team tonight because this is a Charlotte team, as you noted, that they defend well and they love to get out and run when they do. You know as a coach and a general manager and a team that when you get a villain over player, they are going to be schooled in the fundamentals. Ball inside using that 
Great length and able to get it up. Dario was like, would you drive already? <laughs> I mean, he made Dario dance for like a 20 seconds. There is ball. 6'7", 181. So big guard has the ability to see over the top of defenders and just great court vision, court awareness. Youngest player in league history at the age of 19 to register a triple-double. Did that against Atlanta back on January 9th. Fires a pass across the floor, finds McDaniels. He just called him in the G League last week. Here's Hayward. Pops off the Zeller screen. Yeah, beautiful executed out-of-bounds play. And when you execute your out-of-bounds plays, that gives you an opportunity to win games. He passed inside to Zeller for the easy two. I mean, this young man, I mean, he's the issue. He really is. He's not even looking to shoot. No. He's taking two shots, and that's, no, that's not his M.O. Zeller punches it home. CP3 steps between the two defenders, retrieves it, kicks it to McHale. And all of a sudden, the Suns from a little frosty from behind the stripe. Ball gets his first three-point knockdown. And he started now the last 11 games, including tonight, as the Suns throw that one away. That is their ninth turnover. Ball looking for another one, and got it. Back-to-back -back triples from the rookie. Ball on the drive, addition side of Biombo. Crowder got a hand on it, and then it's tipped up and in by Ball, who's then fouled by Aiden. That's a heck of a pass there. I mean, again, he's he's a step ahead of everybody with his passing. Here's Ball. Step back three. High arching shot. Down it goes. It doesn't look like he's going to shoot it. And then without even jumping, it's almost like a set shot. Goes here on the drive. Plucked away by Bridges. And thought he got fouled on the play. Up ahead to Book, who drops it in. Tied at 110. Mikhail Bridges' defense made that happen. Suns just to get back on that one. I mean, this Charlotte team, they, they, they get that ball out of bounds quickly. Ball thought about the three, but good defense by Bridges. Kicks it over to the other Bridges. Miles. Better. Five quick points from Bridges. Here is Ball. Gets the switch. On the drive. Hammers it down. And, you know, look, if DeAndre gets caught with him, you, you, as a son, you teammate, you got to be ready to help. The kid is just too quick. Ball gets a switch with Crowder having checked in for D.A. Ball turns a corner. Tough drive. Tough finish. First in the last two minutes. He's just too quick. And then he can elevate. Yeah, 6'7". 181. Catch and shoot from Book. Won't get it. Wanted a contact and a foul. Won't get that whistle, though. And that is the way this one will come to an end with the Hornets coming to town and grabbing a 124-121 win. Let's take a look at it here. That's a foul. Boy, how is that not a foul? That's a foul. That absolutely. Are you kidding me? <laughs> It is so nice to see Chase Center. The Warriors are going to play one home game here in essentially a month, 24 days. And so you better take advantage of it. And hey, Kalen Azubuki, we <laughs> just saw the Warriors and Hornets, and it sounds like many of the Warriors are anxious to play in this game. Rozier at 36 in that Charlotte win over the Dubs. Washington missing, and LaMelo Ball is a great rebounder for a guard. Steph's tapping his head, he fell asleep there when that shot went up. Mello Ball had 20 against Chris Paul and the Suns. I'll tell you what, nice little pump fake by Cody Martin inside. He's not the biggest, but he's a smart player, and he's going to throw pump fakes in there. Draymond, he was cheating off of him, and Draymond's in recovery mode. He left his feet. Mello Ball, he did not do much in the previous meeting. It was 3 of 10 shooting, and he's already got two field goals here. Mello Ball. It's an interesting delivery. 
But you can't argue with 35% on threes. Hello, oh, ball. Hey, Couple don't, threes here. Don't fall asleep. He's 35%, but he's not afraid to take big shots and make them. He's got 10 on four or four shooting. And Malik Monk running out, and he's going to lay this one in. After missing the dunk earlier. Mellow ball. Nice finish. He's pretty crafty around the rim himself. That is not a good finish. Lamello in traffic, and he will get to the line. Steph chasing Lamello ball. Cody Martin will shoot that three. The rebound, and Washington snuck it out of there, and Lamello ball has shot the ball much better than the first time we saw him. He's 6 of 11 now with 16. Washington at 1 3. Make it another. This Charlotte team is eighth best in the league from deep. And they hit 23s against the Warriors in the first meeting. Hayward bottoming the three. So, how do you get back into a game quickly if you're Charlotte? We saw Washington. Then you see LaMelo. Then you see Hayward. It's not just one guy that can hit threes on this team. Wiggins couldn't get enough contact there and couldn't finish the layup. Rozier, that quickness. Wiggins off back iron. Wiggins took the contact and finished. Andrew Wiggins has 17. Straight into Washington's chest. Tried to expose a small defender. Didn't work. Got it back. Go back up. Rozier with the three. Mellow ball down the lane. You see that little slithery ball handling and burst. Sneak quick. Raymond making 25 turnovers and 10 in the fourth quarter. Mellow ball was just looking for someone to pass and do. And Draymond saved the layup. Steph with 27, Oubre with 27. Curry will be called for a foul here. He thought he had blocked a mellow ball. He's got some speed, doesn't he? It, it, he's bigger than you think it you know six six faster than you think and then yeah and then long stride and then like you said sneaky quick so the warriors do win three in a row for the first time this year and what a week revenge win against the knicks revenge win against the pacers revenge win against charlotte and a warrior team now at 19 and 15. don't forget they won only 15 games all of last year and Draymond Green, a triple-double, a career best, 19 assists. We will talk to him on Warrior Post Game Live, which is coming up. And the tip is controlled by De'Aaron Fox. How about this matchup? Louisville versus Kentucky. The rivalry continues. Good ball movement from the Kings. Back comes Ball, knocks down a three. Lamelo Ball. All right, King still up 16 to 8. LaMelo Ball into the paint on Fox, takes the bump and the foul. He is, he's crafty in his game. He, he understands how to get his shot off, sees the angles, creates the contact because uh, De'Aaron sliding his feet, playing good defense. That's all LaMelo creating the contact and then knocking it down. Five on the clock for Ball. Down to three, working on Belly. Ooh, LaMelo Ball, lefty layup. He sees the angle, not super fast or quick, just gets where he wants. The mellow, ooh, drops it off of Bismack. It's just the look of, I'm gonna go. And as soon as the defense commits, he has the ability to create angles and passing opportunities. As Bridges, the lefty stroke. Bagley. Trying to stay with Ball. Ball into traffic. And Lauren Holkamp calls Corey Joseph for the foul. LaMelo leaves it for P.J. There you go. Hornets' first lead of the ball game. P.J. continues to shoot a good ball from three. P.J. catch and shoot. Yeah. Another three for P.J. P.J. Washington is finding plenty of looks. 13 field goals attempted this first half. P.J.'s got a 20-point first half. Mm, I like it. LaMelo, the rip through, and a foul. The rookie gets the whistle he wanted, and LaMelo Ball, who has already shot six free throws, will have two more. Buddy Heald has two more three-pointers than Houston had as a team tonight. And Dell, they shot 45 of them. What? P.J. Washington, another deuce. 
Yeah, our guy, stat man to the stars, bouncing Bill McGrath, tossed me a note. Said Houston, four for 45 shooting threes oh my tonight. Goodness. Again, Hornets just can go wherever they want yeah, on the floor. Absolutely. Kings poor at guarding the ball, moving their feet. Lamelo to his left, flips it over the rim with a right hand. Lamelo turns the corner. Oh man, Lamelo ball. Hornets have won three straight against the Kings. Love to get a roadie here. PJ hard drive inside. Finishes with the left hand. Mm. Right by Barnes and Salt Elites have come over late. De'Aaron Fox, wide right, rebounded by Miles Bridges. Trailer, LaMelo gives it back to Bridges. That's mm. a good start to the yeah, fourth quarter. Good decision, too. LaMelo has Bielitsa on him. His Trouble. eyes are as big as saucers right now. Trouble. Score the goal with the left hand. Oh, how about that? Eyes as big as saucers when he saw <laughs> the elites on him. Clear out and give me some room. Green light. LaMelo's got Bagley on him. And LaMelo just takes it inside, waits for the contact. Cold shooting from three for the Hornets this half. PJ didn't have it in his hands very long. Six point ball game. Hornets still with the ball. Big shot. Barnes turns the corner and finishes with authority. Mm. Grown man wow. basketball. Yeah. Knocked away from behind. Good job by LaMelo. Final minute. Big shot for Terry. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Terry Rozier finally hits a triple. Hornets are down by five. Yeah. And they found the right man. Yeah. They got Bagley. They can hit on Bagley. Oh, He's right. Bagley only 55% as a free thrower will go to the line. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Hornets had the basketball down by five. Rozier. Oh, he got fouled. That kid is mentally tough. Just did not have a ball game tonight, but he hit a three a moment ago, and now he hits three beauties to make this a two-point game with 33.7 left. Fox gets inside and makes the teardrop, but he left a whole bunch of time on the clock. P.J. Malik. P.J. relocates. Oh, it's been that kind of night. P.J. Washington, a triple. Fox. Yeah, they really want Heald to be the one who can choose the free throws. And the Hornets foul him. Oh, my. Mm. Hornets down two. Tons of time. Malik Monk darts inside. Got five. Second game of a back-to-back, -back, game five of this six-game roadie. It's the second start of the season for Cody Martin. Breaks a tie uh, with his brother Caleb, who started one game this year. LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier, familiar faces in the backcourt. P.J. Washington was all sorts of awesome last night. And the big man, Bismarck Biombo for Terry Stotts. His lineup card looks like this. No C.J. McCollum, but Damian Lillard in the mix. Gary Trent Jr., former one and done from Duke. Derek Jones Jr., airplane mode. Robert Covington, kid out of Chicago. And the Turk, Ennis Cantor, manning the pivot. LaMelo Ball turns the corner, gets inside, and he scores with a left hand. Hangs in the air, switches the ball from the right to the left. Softly off the glass. Wrap around pass, good catch by Biz. Back out to LaMelo. Bottom of the well, early for LaMelo Ball. Good basketball, inside out. What the awareness by Piz to understand he was bottled up. Somebody's got to be open on his strong side. It was LaMelo Ball. LaMelo, another one. He has got eight Lamello quickies. Ball. Deep three on the reversal as the defender gave him too much space. No hesitation. 
Oh, wonderful heads up play by LaMelo. Saved it to Biz, gets it right back, shoots a pass over to Rogier, oh, and the goodness. reverse is gone! Oh, goodness. <laughs> Have a quarter in the first four minutes, young man. <laughs> it is. You save it. It is a nice catch from Biz, and then you run, lead the fast break. Look at that. Uh, and reverse spin on the bounce pass to Rogier. Hornets get it back. Transition three. Terry Rogier, that's good for the soul. Absolutely, and that's good two man basketball. Rogier, no, he didn't have an angle to go all the way to the rim, and LaMelo knew he was going to stop behind the three. Good pass right in the shooter's pocket. Anthony falls down. Here comes Martin. Acrobatic layup, score it, and a foul. Caleb Martin, welcome back. LaMelo out to Martin. Caleb rings the bell. Drive and kick as LaMelo caught that ball on the run as an offensive possession wasn't mounting to much. Caleb, I'll take care of that. Lillard blocked by Biombo. Hornets are going to have numbers if they hurry. Lillard still down. LaMelo. And mm. that'll tie the ball game. Uh, that <laughs> clutch shot. Ball trying to use the Biombo screen. A little back and forth with Biombo. A fake and a floater that's good. LaMelo ball again. Top of the key to the rim. Lillard over Bridges. Bridges might have gotten a piece. Ball down the floor in a hurry. He's shifty in the open floor. Lamelo. Lamelo ball turning in a fine performance tonight. 19 points, four assists, four rebounds. We're seeing firsthand. Many people consider him the front runner for rookie of the year. Ball with the three in the corner and the look over to the Blazers bench and a smile back and forth with Covington, the rookie. 22 points on the evening. Charlotte not allowing the Blazers to do that because they're switching everything off the ball. So it can look like, why is Rodney pounding the ball the whole time? Well, the Hornets are extending their defense and they're switching things off the ball. So whoever has it sometimes might have to be the person to go and make that play. Monk with a beautiful long distance three. Hornets force another steal. Rozier comes down, puts the bucket in. They cut the lead to 12. The Blazers will take a timeout. Lillard trying to dissect this Hornets defense. Flips it over to Covington from outside, and the man is perfect. That kind of night for him. Covington, 8 for 8, 5 of 5 from 3. That ties his season high, 21 points and ball for the stuff. Quick breakdown right there. Blazers don't want to allow Charlotte to score quickly. Lillard attacking Bridges, steps back. Long pass, Bridges able to come down with it. That's a pinpoint pass. Ball, no hesitation. LaMelo ball, 29 points for the rookie. Ball trying to fight through Covington, and Covington going to get whistled for the foul. Laser foul number 23, Robert Covington, his second. Hood. Ball knocked out of bounds as he goes up. Blazers will have 19 to work with. A lot of people love the road trip to Portland. World class cuisine throughout the city as Monk able to get the three in the corner. Normally, if you can get the good food here in the arena, you take that. Mm -hmm. Huge win for the Blazers here tonight in Moda. They will shake off the four-game losing streak. Get back in the win column. Improved to 19 and 14, 9 and 6 at home. And on this beautiful, crystal clear first day of March, it was raining in Moda Center. A team record 24 threes. Blazers shot it at a 52% clip. Six Blazers score 11 plus, led by Carmelo Anthony with 29. And they take the first game of the season series against the Hornets. LaMelo Ball. As he trades jerseys with Melo. Greatness will be in his future. 30 points. Impressive rookie. As he 
continues to state his case for Rookie of the Year. But a game, Lamar, that we sat here and just said it was extremely entertaining, had great flow, 26 assists for the Blazers, just, just a beautiful display of basketball throughout the evening. The Charlotte Hornets will go with Ball, Rogier, Hayward, P.J. Washington, who had a 42-point game himself a couple of nights ago, and Bismack Biombo. The Timberwolves counter with Rubio, Edwards, Jake Lehman in the starting lineup for the fourth time this season and the first time since way back at the start of the season. Jared Vanderbilt and Carl Anthony Towns. LaMelo Ball with the first points for the Hornets by somebody not named Gordon Hayward. Towns fires over Biombo and able to hit the hook. Carl taking his time, very patient. Washington trailing the play, hits the three. P.J. Washington, I mentioned he had the 42-point game yeah. against the Sacramento Kings, and then Jim followed it up with a three-point game against the Portland Trail Blazers. And how about Jay Lynn Noel coming up with a triple? A lot of, we got a lot of Jays going around here, man. We got Jordan McLaughlin getting taken to the hoop by LaMelo Ball. Ball gets it right back. Rogier deep three. Oh man, that was deep too. LaMelo Ball answers right back. Minnesota be without Rubio in this game. He's got 15 and he's one of the only efficient players that Minnesota has. Six of ten from the floor, three of five from outside the arc. Seven assists as well. Wow, that was a tough take by LaMelo Ball. Edwards gets cut off and then has it picked away by Hayward. Rogier contested three. It doesn't matter. He hits it anyway. Rubio has it taken away by LaMelo Ball. Rogier looking for another. That time it doesn't fall. But knocked away by the Hornets. LaMelo right back to Rogier. And Rogier connects again. His fifth triple. He had time to get the seams that possession, Dave. We hope this game gets into a clutch situation. We got a long ways to go. Clutches five came within five points with five minutes or less uh, And it's not really looking like it's trending that way Unfortunately as you get an alley-oop dunk set up by LaMelo ball right there Hayward still looking for his first three. He's 0 of 6 from downtown It's about the only thing that hasn't gone right for Charlotte tonight Miles Bridge just tracked that one down at second chance points LaMelo ball Just completely ripped off Carmelo Anthony by the way Lomelo Ball has another three. Rogier, not that time. Lomelo, unbelievable. Lomelo's got his fourth three of the game. Edwards, no. Hayward, Ant's first shot is so ri ridiculously flat. Charlotte has scored on eight straight possessions. I mean, the, the, the Hornets are just absolutely putting on a clinic. Hornets, they put on a clinic coming out of the locker room at halftime. Terry Rozier, 31 in the victory. LaMelo Ball was impressive, and the Timberwolves' losing streak has reached nine. The skyline in Charlotte, North Carolina. Inside the Spectrum Center tonight, the Pistons do battle with the Hornets. Svee fires it off iron. Washington with a rebound. They go quickly. Sideline three for Gordon Hayward is through. Ball on the perimeter, ball with a drive and a scoop and a score. You know what I saw there? I saw great anticipation, stepping over, taking the right hand dribble away by Mason Plumley defensively, and then a perfect adjustment by Ball to get inside and score eventually. Zeller to Ball, down deep it goes for Miles Bridges, the ex-Michigan State Spartan who scored. Ball whips it. Driving and scoring is Washington. 
George, I got to give credit to the Hornets defensively. They are recovering. They are moving their feet. They're denying drives. Uh, very few open shots or good looks for the Pistons. And that's the reason why right now they're looking up at a 16-point deficit. Bumley went behind the back and lost it. Ball whips it. Gordon Hayward with a jump. Folks, let me tell you, you get a chance to play with a guy like that, you relish it. You love it. LaMelo ball stop and go. On the wing. And a falling down three is through for Terry Rozier. This could be a four-point play. Ball with a long gun. It goes. He was way behind the long line. Certainly was, and then still had to get it up over Mason Plumley. so that tells you the arc he had to put on it. Ball to the basket. Took it on his own shoulders and laid it in. They look good on that one. Bismarck Biampo gets a lob dunk from the mellow ball. Rozier with a drive and the deuce. And he has drawn a foul. Four point lead. Charlotte 23 for 24. The Pistons only 9 out of 12 from the free throw line. Look at Rozier. Rozier launches from way downtown. George, this guy was struggling. He's not not anymore. struggling anymore. Rozier's had the hot hand. He drives it, guns on the run, it goes. Ouch. 105 to 100. Time has run out. The Pistons had the lead with about three to play, but they fall 105 to 102. A Saturday night in Charlotte. The starting lineups, Kyle Lowry, Norman Powell, DeAndre Bembry, Stanley Johnson, and Aaron Baines in the middle. It's Ball, Rozier, Hayward, Washington, and Zeller for the Charlotte Hornets. And Matty, one thing you'll notice is this Hornets team, they played a lot of zone in the first two meetings. You know, James Borrego, their coach, is saying it's a lot less zone now as players are getting more comfortable with what they're trying to do. And Ball with the three-point shot and a quick start for the Charlotte Hornets. They are 0-2 this season against the Toronto Raptors. Bembry with the layup. Ball shooting 37% from three. Launches this one, and it's good. Watch and, out. Yeah, and watch out for what else? Open threes. Here's Ball. Has already hit two. That's his third made three here in the first quarter and a timeout taken. Not the start that the Raptors wanted on a Saturday night. Davis fading. Shot doesn't go. Bridges tracks it down. Couple of players you've really seen the progression with Bridges and P.J. Washington. Here's Graham with the open three in the corner. Mm. That's big time transition right there. Move that ball. Find the open man. Check this picture out here. The big O 1960-61 magic MCW. That is Syracuse, Ben Simmons, Luka Doncic, and LaMelo Ball. Not bad 15, company, 15, 6, huh? and 6. Yep, and, and impacting winning, right? He's had a, he has a big-time effect on this Hornets team and turnover again for the Toronto Raptors. And the NBA logo next to the big O. They did not have a Cincinnati Royals logo. Who had moved from Rochester. New York and eventually went to this is all when you were in the league <laughs> went to Kansas City and then the, Kansas the, City the, Omaha and then on to with the black and white pictures right <laughs> yeah okay I got gotcha. you <laughs> man you're just killing me all the time just killing me oh. Devonte Graham mm, coming that in that three-point line yeah off the bench and firing Thomas in the paint mm. shoot Turn it young over. Fella. shoot it you got the shot you made your first one Shoot it again. Ball spinning, launching, and it's good. Wow. You know, there's one thing making an open three. There's another thing spinning and launching and making it. That's a How about ball, ball with that? Stanley Johnson, the corner three is good. As Nick Nurse said in the pregame, his effort is honest and hardworking. Career high 42% from three. That bucket is good. It's 71 55. 
And the key right now, Matty, you know, Raptors had a huge battle to, to kind of get back in this game. You really need to be disciplined now because if you dig a hole, it's going to be so yeah. difficult to try to get back out of it again. Rozier from the corner is good. Lowry rises up and it spins out. Here's Ball. He's going to fire away. Look, I know it's it's got a little bit of Sean Marion in that shot. But it's working 37% and he is tonight 5 of 7 from 3. Is that bucket is good plus he foul. Ball with a three, and it's good. It's 109-82. Raptors finish it on a 20-3 run, and maybe some of this can carry over to tomorrow night. And Nick Nurse looking out on the court. And Bembry there for his head coach. And the Raptors fall tonight to Charlotte. A tough one. We start with James Borrego's 10-legged groove machine, and they have been grooving. This five is seven and two on the year when they start together. LaMelo and Terry in the backcourt, Gordon Hayward, P.J. Washington on the wings, and Cody Zeller, the big man in the middle. For the Denver Nuggets, currently tied for fifth in the Western Conference. They have Murray and Barton in the backcourt with an improving Porter Jr., Paul Millsap, the veteran, and Nikola Jokic, the big honey. First shot of the game, a little dipsy-doo, P.J. Washington. Welcome to the Mile High City. Nice delivery by LaMelo right there across his body, right on point. First bucket of the ball game. Breaks the seal, LaMelo ball. Nice pass by Rozier. Both sides still playing with their starting units. This is Jokic on top of the smaller B.J. Washington. Guy scores in so many ways. And he doesn't have an outlet. Oh, Terry Rozier, a triple. Quickly the other way. Murray. Jamal Murray. Second field goal for Murray, his first three. He is aggressive, but he's super aggressive with playing with his second unit. Because he knows he's got to carry the ball for the scoring. Down Broadway. Mm. Quick first step with a live dribble. Dunk number seven for the 19-year-old. Gordon Hayward back at the ball game. And he's pestered. LaMelo. That's what I'm talking about. Five in a row for the rookie. Uh, good pass there by Gordon Hayward at the right at the last minute before he fell out of bounds. Fired it over to LaMelo. LaMelo, that was with the left hand. He brought it up to his waist, he rocked the cradle, yeah. and then he put it up with his left hand Porter's, to force the foul. Porter's perplexed. Because he he's a right-handed guy, he's supposed to shoot that with the right hand. LaMelo into the paint with the left hand, and he got fouled. LaMelo doing work here in the first half. He's got nine points in the second quarter. Turns the corner, picks it right up off the dribble. The length right there. He knows he can outstretch it and get it over Jokic, who's not a good jumper by any stretch of the imagination. Gets the foul. Oh, LaMelo scoring and a foul. Size advantage on Facundo and said, That's, I've got a good idea what I want to do. And that'll do it. The Denver Nuggets win the battle of two fifth place teams. Let's go basketball tonight in downtown Los Angeles. The Hornets, a game over 500. And currently in the fifth spot in the East, one game back of Miami when we started the night against the 27 and 13 Lakers third in the West. There's the starting five for the Lakers. Once again, Damian Jones will get the start in the middle. No Marcus Gasol again tonight. AD won't be back for another two, three weeks at the earliest. For the Hornets, Stu, they're pretty good. They've got some talent up there. And that's a, a, a couple of ex-Boston Celtics, Terry Rozier and Gordon Hayward leading the way. And all eyes are on LaMelo tonight. And like the Lakers uh, try to do, they try to find Damian Jones on an alley-oop to start the game. But Charlotte, they've done their film work. And at the other end, count it. 
and one. First bucket of the game goes to Terry Rozier. Now for LaMelo, Chino Hills, Lithuania, the JBA, back to high school in Ohio, and here is Hayward all the way to score. And for LaMelo, Australia, and now here in the NBA. That could have been an offensive foul. It's no whistle. They say play on, and Zeller scores. Here is LaMelo all the way to score. Ball with Kuzma in front of him. Bounces now into the post. P.J. Washington, and he rattles it in off the glass for two. Kuzma blocked by P.J. at the other end. Secondary defender, none of did he block. He completely controlled it. Ball once again trying to get to the rim. Spins it up and in. LaMelo ball. Lakers had a 18 point lead uh, just a minute or two ago and now down to only 11. Rozier got it. Boy, the Lakers need a timeout. Do they ever? James shoots. That one spills out. Now the interest level has uh, perked for the Charlotte Hornets. As we mentioned, the buzz is definitely back for them. Ball from distance. He's got it. LaMelo ball drains a three. And you are right. This tide has definitely turned. KCP taken away by Washington on the double. LaMelo ball. Here he goes one way. Then the next block, but a foul before the block as ball was going to the basket. Boy, what a turnaround to first five minutes of this third quarter. Lakers have four points so far in the third quarter. And LaMelo ball goes all the way to tie the game at 64 timeout Lakers. Lakers from three-point country tonight. Seven for 25 and LaMelo answers back for Charlotte. It's Charlotte controlling the tap. Ball with some speed into the front court. Minute and a half to go here in the quarter. That's a nice little dish off to Biombo, who throws it down. Real nice to set up that time by LaMelo. Made that play happen. Rozier for three. Down it goes. The splash from downtown. He is tied for seventh in the NBA in May threes. And uh, it's going to be five on four. THT slow getting up. Ball is open. On its way. The rainbow is good for LaMelo Ball. And it's 86-85. One point game timeout. Putting on the burner. Schroeder scores. There's that speed. The flash. Dennis the Menace all the way to the rim. There's that change of pace. And LaMelo scores. He answers right back. Ball <laughs> Where's the defense right now? Players just going up and down, getting layups. No rim protection or no leveling off. It's an all-star game type last minute or so, and the ball's limping a little bit. THD, there's that reverse layup. It's nearly automatic. He does a great job when he turns his body like that because defensively it's hard to get to it. Been uh, running that play since he was a kid. Well, play and foul. Lamelo attacks, gets fouled, and keeps his focus on the target. Three-point opportunity. Twenty-one points here for Lamelo now, with seven assists. Players that are in this group that are impressive. Lamelo is one out of nine players in the league that average 15 points, six rebounds, six assists, and a steal. The other players are LeBron, Giannis, Luca, the Joker, Harden, Russ. Ben Simmons and Sabonis. Those are all the stars of the game right there. And LaMelo backing in, gets doubled up, in trouble, stops, turns around and scores. Kept his pivot foot. And for LeBron, that's his third highest scoring game of the year. LaMelo at the other end, and this one is over. 116 to 105. And here is James Borrego's 10-legged group machine. First time in 21 games that we've seen LaMelo Ball running the point. He'll be sharing the backcourt with Terry Rozier and Cody Martin. Miles Bridges coming off a spectacular April. And P.J. Washington once again will be your center. On the block, this is Bridges. Switches to the right hand and scores. In this play right there, you get a back screen by LaMelo on Bridges. That forces the switch. LaMelo reads that Bridges has a mismatch. Easy post move for the first hoop. I missed those instincts. LaMelo with the steal, heading the other way. And Terry can't handle the pass. LaMelo dreaming big dreams. Yeah, that's, that's all right. LaMelo, what a pass by Bridges. Welcome back, LaMelo. You, you just cannot... 
teach instincts like that. Was that with his left hand? <laughs> it was so fast, I got to see it again. That was a 60-foot pass with his left hand underhanded. LaMelo finds Rozier, and he's fouled. Rozier hits the deck, fouled by Isaiah Stewart, who clearly doesn't agree. LaMelo Ball takes it away from Jackson. Touch pass, Jaden oh, McDaniel. Man. Welcome back. What a pass by LaMelo. What a joy to play with. The LaMelo Ball's on the floor. Come on, give it to me. Will you give it to me? I'm going to make things happen. Oh, man. He's like, hey, what took so long? Give me that ball and keep running. This is Jackson. Got hit on the follow through. No whistle. We play on. LaMelo, I think that pass was to P.J. Washington. One of them. Score the goal. There's a couple of guys under there, both unguarded. Whoever wants it the most. LaMelo ball. Four assists. Had to score the point, hadn't even attempted a shot. That's how you get your rhythm back. LaMelo, oh. his first shot, a lefty layup. Created because of his unselfish play up to this point. Here's LaMelo, keeps the dribble alive. LaMelo's hit his first two shots, made one left-handed. No, that was the first one right-handed. LaMelo, bingo! the defense with his eyes and then rises in fire before the defender can get his hands up. Jackson with the misfire. LaMelo's got the head up. Who does he want? He wants Brandon! Yes! <laughs> Hayes saw the play the whole way. He said, you know what? I'm not jumping with Miles Bridges. LaMelo finds Biombo at the rim. Another alley-oop. Perfectly timed play. A better pass and finish. Half-hearted there by Bay. Ten. Here comes LaMelo! Hornets lead by 15. Ten blocks by the guys in Teal. Rookie on rookie. Hayes. Hey. It was touched by LaMelo on the way up, and that forced the miss. LaMelo finds Rogier in the corner. Another three for Terry. Get the assist to LaMelo. Simple play, start Rozier on the right side, get a couple of screens, fading to his left, to the left-hand corner. P.J., there's the dagger! It's all over but the shouting here in Uptown. We will talk to LaMelo Ball, get his immediate thoughts on his return game after being out for the last 21. He played with force, he played with joy, he played with precision, and uh, we're going to hear all about it as the Hornets once again, dominate the Detroit Pistons. They have now won 12 straight against the fellas from Motown, and they have a chance to make it 13 straight on Tuesday in Detroit if they can get it done. Start with Eric Spolstra's Miami Heat. Kendrick Nunn, Duncan Robinson, the sniper, Jimmy Butler, Trevor Ariza, the veteran, and Bam Adebayo. That's a good five. Yeah. Let's take a look at James Borrego's 10-legged groove machine. Winner last night against the Detroit Pistons. There's the Iron Man, Miles Bridges, playing in his 176th consecutive game. Mm. Nothing keeps him out. LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier in the backcourt, Cody Martin doing good things, and P.J. Washington is your small ball center. Ball's loose out of aisle, finds Butler, who never really likes taking threes. Duncan Robinson does, but it's blocked. Hornets block it away, LaMelo Ball, no one home. Robinson hesitated, and that caused the miss. Sure did. LaMelo got back in the play after turning it over. When you're the quickest man to 500 made threes, why do you ever hesitate? P.J. Washington, first assist LaMelo Ball. How about that? From the corner, draw the D. Give P.J. a bunny. Here comes LaMelo! We're ready for that zone. The heat displayed right there. A little ball movement, get the zone moving. Find a crease and it's straight line to the hoop. Here comes LaMelo. He's fouled, scoring! Welcome back, LaMelo! Chance for a three-point play. Gets tragic with his hand in the cookie jar, fights through that one, and a little high-stepping to the hoop. <laughs> LaMelo. Whoa! 
it from right to left. Made that one look easy. Rocked the cradle. It was not. Oh, man. Man. Woo! Yeah, yeah, right. We saw it. <laughs> left to right, yeah. LaMelo. I like it. I like it. LaMelo squirts inside and finishes. Two more for the youngster. Yeah, he uses his length. Size six seven. And he's stronger than he looks. And LaMelo picks off the pass. Shoot the pass over to Devontae. Devontae. Yeah. All right. Like oxygen. Much needed. Good skilled chest pass from LaMelo. Gets Devontae in rhythm. Dragic left some meat on the bone. Here we go. Hornets have a chance. Get in there. Yeah. And start out bound pass right on the money, and that is a good connection right there. I mean, look at that pass. Easy finish. LaMelo ball. How about half? How about that for awareness, too? Terry knew exactly how much time he had, and he gets it to fall. That's a sharp stick to the eye if you're a member of the Miami Heat. They had everything going on, but then the Hornets score the final five points of the half. Tough chance. LaMelo softly off the window. A jump stop and fades to his left. With a good angle off the glass. LaMelo, active hands, deflects the ball, steals it, and gets fouled. Ariza, wild pass, run down by LaMelo. LaMelo Ball makes the officials blow the whistle. And this one is over. First time all season long, the Hornets lose to the Miami Heat. The Hornets a winner last night here in this building against Detroit. They can't go back to back as they lose to a surging Miami Heat team. The Heat have now won 13 of their last 19. For those keeping score at home, the Hornets did finish this game by a 17-2 run. So the Hornets' deep bench a little bit stronger than the Heat's deep bench on this Sunday evening. Small victory. This may be Frank Jackson's happiest birthday yet. The now 23-year-old is in the midst of the best stretch of his professional career. Over the last two weeks, he's averaging 17.5 points per game while shooting 45% from behind the long line. Tonight, he looks to spoil Charlotte's playoff party. Live from Little Caesars Arena, it's the Pistons and the Hornets. Caleb Martin to LaMelo. Top side three is through for LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball gets it back from Rozier. No looks at DeBiambo, got him a dunk. Off the floor to Ball. Wanamaker on the other end lays it up, no. Ball taps the rebound to Terry Rozier, who triples. Rozier shovels topside LaMelo Ball for the long gun. It goes. LaMelo Ball with a drive. Scores over Isaiah Stewart. That's not easy. Rozier with a basketball. Terry Rozier dumps it to Biombo. LaMelo Ball rifles it inside, and Jalen McDaniels is able to score. Rozier misses, ball batted topside. Ball with a drive, deep to Zeller for a dunk. Shovels to Wanamaker, now Zeller screens for Ball. Ball with a drive and the scoop off glass and score. Saban Lee for the Pistons, looking down deep for Okafor, swiped by Ball. Didn't throw it nearly high enough, George. Ball is 6'7". Lamelo to the basket, lays it up, lays it in. Mellow ball, top side of Wanamaker, square up and gun, and it goes. He's a solid shooter. Pistons are within five. Ball with a corner three, and it's through. Yeah. This young man can play. Fortunately for the Pistons, it ended up in the hands of Sadiq, wide open. Zeller screens for LaMelo Ball, fires him in front and fills it. LaMelo Ball with a basketball, Charlotte by just two. 
Careful of uh, Rozier. Yeah. Knocks it down from just inside the elbow. I was just about to say, this is his time now, right? Four seconds, three seconds, two. Killian with a pump fake, and now the shot. Oh. Oh, it, it looked good. would have counted. It looked had good. Had it gone, it did look good. But it's off iron at the horn, and Charlotte survives. Cole Anthony out there once again. He has been a starter almost since day one for Orlando. We got Anthony, Gary Harris, and Dwayne Bacon in the backcourt. Dwayne Bacon, a friend of the program. And then a couple of Moes up front. You got Mo Wagner, who has just been with Orlando uh, for a handful of days. Just his sixth game, and he is starting up front with Mobamba. For your Hornets, LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier in the backcourt. Both men looking to bounce back from some part performances yesterday. Jalen McDaniels, P.J. Washington, and Bismarck Biombo rounding out the five. Is LaMelo going to give it up? Nope. I like it. I like the gumption. Yeah, that, that was good time and score. Right there, and he made a tough shot. Jalen McDaniels breaks the seal. Give the assist to LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball! Gorgeous move! Yeah, defender fake it, expecting him to shoot with the right. He goes under with the left. Cole Anthony does not dribble it before he shoots it at the free throw line. Yeah. Step up, catch it, let it go. Every player has their own routine. They got to be comfortable, feel confident. That, that, that's what they need to do to get them to go down. Look at that one. LaMelo Ball! He's got the last four for the Hornets. Hanging in the air, not sure. That he, was, he wanted to pass that ball. The angle was cut off, so he just softly kissed it off the glass. LaMelo! right there in front of the rim. Once he picked that dribble up, he knew he had to go high with it. You earned it, Biz! Diombo, a chin up! Yeah, good job by PJ to, to yell and get Biz attention. Throw it to me, I'm right here to help you. Biz rewarded for his hustle. That's some strength right there. LaMelo Ball, 19 years of age, showing a bit of everything. Anthony playing in front of his college coach, showing out. Two in a row. All right, Roy Williams is going to get banned. The same spot. <laughs> I'm telling you. Roy Williams has been here back-to-back -back nights to watch Kobe White and now Cole Anthony, and both guys having ball games. Roy Williams will be America's guest for the rest of his life. Another assist, LaMelo Ball. This time he finds P.J. LaMelo, what's he got cooking? Another dude. Ball handling by LaMelo Ball. Waits for the traffic to clear. P.J. sets a nice off-the-ball screen so Anthony can't help. 4.2 to shoot for Orlando. Let's see if Bacon realizes. Much like they did in the first quarter. He did realize, but it's a long miss. Here comes LaMelo. Look at him zigzag. Rozier! Tough pass by LaMelo. Rozier scoops it up and bottoms the triple. LaMelo with the left hand from the sinister side. Rescreen. Thornwell just not on the same page with his teammate. LaMelo goes right around him. PJ over to LaMelo. his head down, gets the defender to retreat, stops on a dime, waits for the flyby, softly over the front. LaMelo from the elbow had his legs taken out, and he'll go to the line. Foul call on Chase and Randall, who's trying to get Steve Clifford's attention to say challenge that. <laughs> Cliff, he turned right around and walked back to the bench as soon as the whistle blew. Rogier. Oh. LaMelo, the steal! Continuation, he missed the layup! Oh, that's Gary Harris fouled him. McDaniels! Oh, got it! Yeah. Three ball! Largest lead of the night! 
afraid of the moment. Not afraid to make things happen. 27. Hornets win a game they absolutely had to have. We've got a special Mother's Day edition of Hornets basketball. We're getting ready to tip off the most important week of the season. Terry Rozier knows it. The Hornets with work to do as we close out the regular season. And folks, tonight, we're going to have a ball. Not one, but two. We've got LaMelo Ball. We've got his older brother, Lonzo Ball. It should be a blast. Hornets basketball of the important variety coming your way. TJ. Batted around right back to Washington. LaMelo. Bottom of the oh, yeah, Good fight under the boards. Offensive rebound by that open shooter. This is Lonzo. Marshall. Former Xavier Musketeer. He's got five early points for New Orleans. Don't try that on LaMelo. Bad idea. Hornets get it back. Again, why challenge LaMelo? Difficult pass, and even a more difficult finish. Oh, Caleb Martin, welcome to the ball game. Hornets needed that triple. Oh, oh no. What are they thinking? LaMelo again. Get in there now. Finally, P.J. Washington breaks the seal. That's three consecutive outstanding defensive plays. They're getting easy buckets because of it. Wow. Hornets won against New Orleans in New Orleans back in January. Hernan Gomez back-to-back -back buckets. Kyra Lewis into the game for the first time. Rookie for New Orleans. LaMelo Ball taking matters into his own hands. The turnaround in the paint. Starts right, spin cycle back to the left. LaMelo. Give him two more. He's so good at that runner with one hand. All over the floor, not just in the paint. Three ball. Matches. Swirls it through. Over the outstretched arm of Hayes, who thought, no way that one goes in. Rookie Lewis to ball. He's shooting a heck of a lot better this year. Yeah. And Jackson Hayes has had a good first half. Lonzo Ball. Slow shooting start for Lonzo Ball, one for six. LaMelo, real gentle half. Oh, finds its way through. Clear opening in the lane. Glides right down the middle. LaMelo. An all around good shot. Circling the circumference, LaMelo Ball. Good English on the left hand lane. PJ. LaMelo. Oh, oh, yeah, had a foul. Chance for a three-point play. That is now the 21st time this year that LaMelo has been fouled while making a shot from the field. And he's 19 years of age and not finished growing. Older brother Lonzo hits a three. Good relocation there by Lonzo as Pletso drove the paint. Lonzo Ball, two in a row. Offensive night, 18 points in 18 minutes. Uh, no one expected LaMelo Ball to shoot this well early in his career. Uh -oh. LaMelo hangs in the air just long enough to get another one. He wanted to pass that ball. The angle, take it away, hang. Be able to create because of it. Marshall, good contest by LaMelo, and hopefully he didn't re aggravate that right wrist. He's favoring her right now. That's five 
shots he's made in that fashion. Turn the corner, a floating runner, one hand push shot. Lonzo Ball leaves it for Hayes. Oh, oh. The Ball brothers doing it on their offensive end of the floor. Jackson Hayes. And it's a four point lead for New Orleans. Hope for a miracle. Terry's in a hurry. Gets it. 0 0.1 ball game. So, congratulations to the New Orleans Pelicans who are playing severely shorthanded, but they play like Titans in the fourth quarter. And they defeat a, a Hornets team that really, really needed a W.